Noah's Ark is really fun. <laughs> we are unmuted now. Uh, I've gone to Mount Olympus, but all their wooden coast all of their coasters are wooden. So you yep. have to keep that in mind. Yep. When you go. <laughs> Hades, super fun. Uh, I went on the Pegasus like ten times. <laughs> My head hurt for like what a day and a half doing? afterwards though, since it's a wooden coaster and you just kinda shake. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> muted. Hello. It should be working now, I think. I think everything's everything's back. Um well, how are we? I hear you guys talking about coasters. We're talking Just about so you talking know, about. Morgan's still a little low. Morgan's oh. still a little low. A little low? All right. I, if I talk into my mic and put myself up, maybe. Put you up to like 150. You're probably fine. Pat. <laughs> I'm going to check the v levels just a little bit. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, I've got chat over here, and we are going to do introductions as soon as we got all this technical garbo figured out. What, uh, what is these notifications? What are, what are what notifications? Are you talking about all my notifications? It's called being in 30 ARG servers, all right? I don't look at all of them every day. <laughs> if people abuse the add everyone button, I leave the server. <laughs> I I mute it. Period. I hardcore. I mute it even like I like I'm not gonna get notifications from you ever. Um, most of the like YouTubers things I'm in the bigger communities have at everyone suppressed unless the moderators do it. So usually it's not an issue. Bring Morgan up a little bit higher just in case. You never know. I should probably turn turn down my Final You're Fantasy right. bop. Hello. <laughs> Trom Boomer Knuckles, hello. I think that's Trombone and the uh, Vehemence Discord. So let's do intros. Welcome to uh, a very special last minute ARG stream because we're moving into the second kind of act of the Paranormal Paranoids ARG, and it, it felt like a good time to to do a recap with some lovely people. Um, so you know, anybody from Vehemence is going to know that I am strongest coffee or Ren. Um, masters at UWM in English, uh, and I am joined by two lovely guests. I am David Kutchik. I am um, a, a PhD student. Sorry, like summer in, in the summer, you don't know who you are if you're if you are in education. Um, I'm a PhD student at UW Milwaukee. Not yet a candidate. Not yet a woman. Um, <laughs> that was a Britney Spears reference, uh, and I am. <laughs> um th there should be a, i'm gonna make a, a parody of it so that's phd student not at a phd candidate um <laughs> and i uh am pretty new to args um i i went and explored one with ren a couple months ago and now i'm back to to check it out it's giving me some ooky spooky vibes which is always a good time so i'm excited and i'm excited to be back on twitch after like two months two I months it. has it really been that long yeah. God, it doesn't feel like it. Oh, man. Summer Ray is going by fast. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Um, I am Morgan. I am a master's student in culture anthropology. This is my cat, Kimmy. He's he's hanging out with us today. Um, and uh, I have, besides from the very short introduction we had to the ARG from Ren in Lunch Zone, like in January, I had I don't have any experience with ARGs. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know the concept in theory. I know what ARGs are, but I've never played around in one. You were one of the no. few who pronounced vehemence correctly. <laughs> well, all right, uh, Morgan. You know <laughs> this one will be pretty user friendly. Um, Terminal Paranoids hasn't done much more than a Twitter and two Twitter accounts. I lied. Actually, there's one other. Um, and uh, a, a YouTube account. So most of what we're going to be doing today is just looking at tweets and looking at, you know, uh, YouTube videos. And mainly it's going to be the YouTube videos. So it's going to be no different than doing sitting and doing like an MS3, MSK3K video where we actually take it a little bit more seriously. Um, where, you know, Catastrophe Crow was all over the place. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought we were actually going to crack the Unity files. And, like, I still plan on doing that for the show eventually. But, like, I've got so much shit to do to get that show off the ground. I was like, oh, I'll pitch it and it'll just happen. And then I pitched it and I was like, fuck. 
<laughs> I have to draw to do things. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> draw Darn. things, do things, and figure things out, and all that kind of stuff. So. That's why my show is about fan labor. <laughs> so that way we can just take a look at what other people have already done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So um, there's not really one contained. Uh, if you guys are interested in, in kind of looking at the community as well or we need community help, uh, Vehemence is aware that we're doing the server and we'll probably pop up. They're a big kind of parent server for a lot of ARGs, and I can link you to there. Um, I'll throw a link in the uh, chat here or trombone can. So huh? Is is uh, Vehemence a community that is interested in exploring these or is Vehemence a community that is like a site where people can go to learn how to create their own? A little bit of both. So the uh, about all of the above. Yeah. What happened for a while, ARGs were being run out of like uh, Skype chats, IRC chats. This was like 2010, 2012 ish. Um, and the communication layer was hard uh, at any point. This kind of post unfiction pre discord and then discord came about. And suddenly now what we've gotten over the years is not just servers for individual games, but servers that are hubs for many games. Um, Vehemence is one of these hub servers. Uh, it, you know, so it, it leads into games like this one, which have a little bit more attention on them, uh, as well as games that are being made by one person and playing being played by five, you know, so it's uh, creators and players, you know, talking out what they're doing um, under this like huge umbrella server. Vehemence is one of many. I think ARG Underground's another. Um, I've just gotten more involved with Vehemence lately uh, compared to other hub servers. But yeah, it's gotcha. kind of an interesting phenomenon in terms of how people organize themselves socially with ARGs. Uh, but that's hey. its own dive. <laughs> I was gonna say that works with uh, what Morgan anthropology. Mm -hmm. Can we can we just say I I just want to say Discord is just amazing. I love Discord so good so much. It's fantastic. It's, it's always fantastic to see because like playing MMOs in Final Fantasy, they have Discord set up to organize things in Final Fantasy, and then while you when you're in Final Fantasy, you have no idea what's going on. You just see these crowds of people doing organized activity, and you're like, what? Where do you people come from? <laughs> Where have I'm so confused? <laughs> Discord does a lot of that kind of stuff. I just sent you guys the link to VMNs if you want to have a look at it yourself. Um, Alrighty. And then, uh, yes, and Trombone has put the uh, Discord link in chat so anybody who's watching uh, can jump the in. The boat. And Thank you so much for that. Because, like, it, it's, I've got. So I do chat on my tablet and I've got everything else on one screen because I'm not cool like Morgan and I don't have two screens. So you putting that in chat <laughs> trombone is like amazing. Thank you so much. So, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil much. What I'll say is that like, well, we should probably start on the Twitter uh, if I'm being honest and just go back to the first post and just start there. It, there's not all of the interesting content is happening in these videos with the exception of the kind of other Twitter account. I guess like one thing I can lay out is that in, so this is kind of echoing a lot of 2010 ARGs. So if you've seen Marble Hornets or any of that sort of stuff, the, the format should be kind of familiar. Uh, there's a set of lost tapes. Uh, there's one person trying to uncover them. There's an interloper who we aren't really sure who they are um, and or what their motives are. Um, and obviously for Marble Hornets, it's Jay and and uh, to the Ark and the YouTube channel, the you know, the set production of Marble Hornets for this. It's the Paranormal Paranoids YouTube channel, Jess and this account called Noir that we'll bump into. That's really all we need the Twitter for is getting those Noir interactions. Otherwise, all of it is in the tapes. So it's also really hard to like guide people through Twitter <laughs> without a game guide. Um, and I, as I understand it, there is a game guide, uh, but it's it's kind of being pieced together right now. There's not enough content that people are having a hard time getting through the game. And so at this point, the need to like have a, a guided document isn't isn't quite there, although there may be some people okay. in chat who do contest that. Um, let me grab my Google Chrome and I'll pull over to the Twitter. I think it should show up on. Let me make sure it's showing up in the chat. Uh, looks like it is not. So I will have to give me a second. I'm gonna switch the OBS over to monitor view, um, which is something we just end up doing. Um, can you guys see the stuff I'm streaming right now? 
Um, yep, I can see it from, uh, I can see it on Discord. I can not, I can see it on, uh, Twitch as well. Cool. Sweet. Um, also nobody judge me for having Genshin Impact in my open applications right now. All right. Uh, so, um, <laughs> damn it. I am judging. I can pull up receipts. I can pull up receipts <laughs> about what Ren used to think about Genshin Impact. So I think that's another ARG thing. waiting to happen. Oh my God. I still think about the same about Genshin Impact. Okay. It's a predatory game. It doesn't mean it doesn't have good things in it. I, well, I, I, um, I, as a graduate student, I've learned to uh, see the world in black and white. And so, um, yep. <laughs> okay so <laughs> so this is kind of the first post we get from from jess uh okay social media i'm back and trying to figure out twitter usually i'm gonna um i try to stay off the grid because of big data but here goes although i'm going to use a vpn diving deep into my childhood to find some answers uh maybe the kind of people with the the kind people of the internet can help me with you know and there's no edit button of course but uh you know so jess kind of starts out that's really all we get at the beginning. Um, and then we get this thread, which is the very important thread that starts the whole arg. And so this and is worth reading. Through. Can I, can I just say something uh, that's interesting about that first post already? Yeah, sure. There's already, um, this idea of like big data. Um, that is, that is part of that first post that I think is really interesting because part of what, it seems like with the idea of big data is that like data is ever present or omnipresent right in our lives. Like mm -hmm. big data is us being surrounded by data. So it's an interesting way to like contrast like the search for something. Cause it's not like we're trying to dig through the data that's available to us. It's like, we're trying to find this like undercover information that isn't part of this like massive network of big data that now constitutes our internet lives. Um, so it's got this interesting contrast to it that I think is present in a lot of ARGs. Um, this like weird relationship with big data and the internet. That's something yeah. that popped in my head. Well, I think I think you're right to some extent. Like, I mean, well, one, I mean, it's hard to make a digital piece of digital media that doesn't in some way contact like what we mean by digital media. Also, I just set up a separate window capture so people don't have to see the back end. Um, so that's fun. Uh, I just got to make sure you guys are visible. But yeah, it, it, it's it's hard to make an ARG that's not somehow talking about the nature of the internet. It seems, um, or at least maybe that's just not where we're at with them right now. I'm sure it's possible, um, but. Yeah, I mean, it, it's and trauma makes a good point in saying that, like, adding a typo humanizes the character immediately. So the character has yeah. concerns. The character's already concerned about big data in the scope of what is otherwise going to be a paranormal question. Kind of mm -hmm. weird, but it fits. Uh, and then you get this endearing kind of humanizing element. It's a good introduction. It looks it does look realistic, uh, I think. I'm not sure I would have grabbed it as an ARG um, immediately from that tweet, uh, although it is weird for somebody to come on to Twitter just to look for their friends. Yeah, an ARG on Facebook just doesn't have the same <laughs> ring to it. <laughs> yeah, here's my, uh, here's my stand, ARG on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. <laughs> I feel like you have to deal with QAnon more if you do an ARG on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. And you're never sure. I feel like. But. Twitter's, oh, sorry. Twitter's like insulated enough semi, somewhat that things can stay in their own little communities on Twitter. Facebook, you never know what's going to get mushed about <laughs> if you have everything public. Yeah. 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 That's interesting, too. Anyway. I know we were doing some research a while back. Me and, and Morgan both were looking at, like, filter bubbles and how, like, realistic the filter bubble analogy is on different platforms. And YouTube is insane. But, like, I I'm not sure how well it holds up comparatively on Facebook and Twitter. Um, yeah, well, like, yeah. there's also, like, arguments with if there is a filter bubble on YouTube or if there's not. And, like, antidotal no, That's... We don't need to get into that. <laughs> yeah, it's not Look really. This tweet. <laughs> it's one tweet. Here we are. 15 minutes. Let's yes. go. <laughs> yes, good tweet. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. All right. So Oopsie. moving forward on the Twitter page, uh, this is the big thread that we were talking that it's like very important to the ARG. It's where we kind of get started with everything. This more than anything is the trailhead. Um, let me make sure I'm properly switched over so the audience can see 
what I see. Uh, there we go. So starting a new thread for this, but I created this account to ask the internet if anyone remembers the amateur ghost hunting group, the Paranormal Paranoids, that were gone YouTube around 2005 to 2008 ish. My friends don't even remember them. So thread, they completely disappeared one day, uh, like they never existed, and that drove 12 year old me crazy since I was literally obsessed with them. I eventually forgot about them until my mom and dad showed up with this box of old stuff from my childhood room since they were moving, and then we get this photo, which is I think bears some. Uh, further looking there's some interesting things in here um <laughs> vampire encyclopedia is the first thing that pops out to me yeah a couple I of see tomb raider a couple of mini <laughs> dv tapes which are gonna gonna get all the marble hornets fans going crazy is that uh is that an old v that's not a vhs what is that in the back um, um the red one the one behind the red one. Oh, that's a laptop yeah, it looks oh, like it an old is. Dell or something. Oh, it is an old school Yeah, that's laptop. one of those old, thick laptops that yeah. had the battery sticking out the back. Yep. <laughs> and then you HQ have some burnt, 120. Have some burnt CDs. Like, three book. You need to have more books in there. <laughs> need more books in there? Oh, yeah, one of them is, like, UFO crash at Roswell, and the other one's, what, the, the mystery of the fog man? Which is, I don't know if I... Like, I know there was there's a whole doc right now in vehemence. It's called What's in the Box, Jess. And it's just a catalog of all of these things. Um, the so you got a Darnie Darko, yeah. which cult classic makes sense. <laughs> which, as like 2008 child having a Donnie Darko CD, that uh, interesting. <laughs> Charlie's Angel, Evolution, War of the Worlds, Dees, Tomb Raider, Hero, Spider-Man, and Signs. I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, clearly a child interested in conspiracy theories and paranormal stuff and whatever else, right? Like, yeah, yeah it, it's it's an interesting. And then you got Sam Raimi Spider Man, I think. Which <laughs> yeah, Sam Raimi. Hey, it's it is, it's. <laughs> You're not into the Sam Raimi Spider Man. <laughs> I'm just not into Sam Raimi. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. What is this JVC? Is that a that's a video camcorder? Okay, so that's a camcorder. Yeah, it runs th those sorts of things. Uh, shoot mini DV tapes. That's actually the first camera I used when I was oh, learning yeah. film. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't, I just didn't get a good look at the box. So I wanted to see what it was. So it was yeah. Okay. Um, I think my mom, my brother had one of those. Oh. Yeah, you got the little boom box, which is just cute. And like, I think I I've seen one of those in a like somebody a little bit older than me's bedroom uh, before. Uh, and, and like. The I think the, the the blank CDs, I mean, they might not be blank, but like they look like right the to burns. CDs. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. they're burnable CDs. I literally have like a hundred of those in my old in my parents basement. Yeah, I have CDs on me right now. Actually, I have CDs in my apartment because I like CDs. Thank you for the follow muggle muggle mad muggle mad. Really appreciate it. Muggle, muggle mad. mad. Yeah, thank you for following us. Another another thing I just I mean, we talked about it with Catastrophe Crow, too, with the N64 and the nostalgia of the materiality mm -hmm. of that. Um, but um, materiality seems such a big part. A lot of these are ARGs, too, of, like, old... Not old as in, like, eons ago, but, mm -hmm. like, old as in, like, from from our childhoods or, like, from, you know, people who are 30 now up in the 90s, and these were, the the, the ma electronic materials that were there when we grew up. And like, there's this big, interesting con contrast between like the the not people not trusting big data with like these older machines that are. I mean, this is like a nostalgia in a box, literally. Mm -hmm. And so it's um, and then of course the whole Scooby Doo ness of it all can't be ignored either. So uh, just like the nostalgia factor is also just. I don't know if I have anything like interesting to say beyond that at this point, but just like out of the ARGs we've looked through, like that seems to be a part of this, right? Is like exploring those old materialities that weren't around, that aren't around now. Um, and kind of like the mysteries they have within them. Um, it's a pretty interesting part of a lot of these ARGs as well. It seems like yeah. there's like four or five um, floppy disks in there. I mean, maybe they're cassettes. I can't really tell. But either way, uh, I mean, where it, do you, it's, uh, what are you looking at? It's like right between the CDs and the uh, and the DVDs. I'm not sure if they're cassettes or uh, those. Those might be the weird. Looks like there's some cassettes. That purple one looks like a zip disk, which is like a weird 
flash storage medium thing that oh, isn't really? used anymore. I don't think I've ever that heard looks, of zip disks. That's a new one. They they're weird. <laughs> they're they're like proprietary something or other. Ah, that would be. They were like it. a mixed they were like when floppy disks were super big, but people wanted to put more stuff on them, so they made like flash memory in the shape of flash. It was, ah. it was a thing. But yeah, it, that's what it looks like. Or it could just be cassette. Yeah. It, it like, but I think you're right, David. It's it's just it's such a smattering of old materials too. It's like you just get a box of everything. It's it's literally everything up to what like DVDs and well up, up to Blu-ray really. And like it, there maybe there's something to be said for for growing up and then finding the materiality of your childhood not only nostalgic but yeah. haunted. Um, but yeah. it's something that you're right. It comes back over and over again. Um, like, I mean, we're doing there's a Alex Bale is doing a new ARG. Uh, I, th I don't know what the community has decided to call it, but it's a mix of his SpongeBob theories, some stuff on a channel called Cynical Critic um, and then some stuff from, I think, Conspiracy Carl is the other channel. But like all of them are focused in some way, shape or form on properties that you would have watched when you were growing up, be it Sonic the Hedgehog or whatever else. And so these things get nested into the game. Um, I feel like it's very Victorian in a way, because a lot of Victorian literature was about old houses, <laughs> about like old materiality that wasn't part of daily life in the Victorian, uh, like that wasn't a daily experience of people living in the age of the 1800s and onward, right? Like it feels like the house as a technology, in, if we want to clarify that right that's part of like the victorian novel mm. are these old houses old manners decrepit properties that people no longer live in in the country because they live in the cities now yeah, right and so stories. like this is kind of a kin this is i'm not saying that like args are victorian but just like it's kind of like a through line right of of past haunted technology whether that is the physical stuff that we live within or the physical stuff that we use um there's always something being haunted in what we previously used and never used before and never use again. Right. Um, interesting threads going. Also, yeah. thanks scroll noises for the follow. Yeah. Woo. And, and it's interesting too, because like one of the bigger first web series projects was what an adaptation, I think an adaptation of, uh, Lizzie Bennett diaries, I think is pride and prejudice that they adapted. So yep. like, you know, you're starting out the turn of YouTube video content with, essentially an adaptation of Victorian lit. And then, you, you know, those sorts of things kind of persist in interesting ways. Um, I don't know. What else is in this thread? What else is in this thread? Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I'm talking too much. Well, no, I, I, we know this no, is talking. how this is going to go. <laughs> that's how yeah. that's how we do this shit. <laughs> um, thankfully, this one is not terror. This ARG isn't super long, so uh, we'll have some time to kind of play around with other stuff, too. Uh, so I booted up my old laptop wanting to see what was on there, and I found this old picture of the group. It was brought back. It brought back all the memories. Uh, that was when I was a total loner and only watched X-Files and weird stuff like Paranormal Par Paranoids on YouTube. And we get this. Uh, the shot of the group, which is, I think you're right, very Scooby-Doo in a way. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. it seems very like Shaggy, Daphne, Velma, Fred. You know? Yeah. Even like, in like their statures. Uh, the, the, the hood on head is very 2008. I appreciate. <laughs> they got some cool boots, man. That's like three Vel sets Velma is cool rocking it, though. Like that color combo. I love that. I love Velma in every iteration of her, including this one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, it's interesting because, like, you immediately got these, like, essences of abandoned childhood being placed next to abandoned buildings, you know? So maybe yeah. that in more ways than one, that Victorian analogy really fits. It kind of looks like, like an old... I'm seeing, I'm seeing stone furnishings. I'm foundations. So it's somewhere, I don't know, my brain went, it's not in Michigan because Michigan doesn't have a lot of stone foundations. <laughs> Everything that, that we've found location-wise has been in Ohio. So you're, you're okay. not that far uh, off. I was, I was going to say this looks like classic, like, um, rural Midwest. like Rural Midwest boom town, sort of. Yeah, some uh, old, you know, water treatment facility that, you know, is replaced by a water tower. Or, you know, like, it, it's like very a, that. For me, like, a town that used to be on a major highway and then the highway got moved off to a better yeah. route. And so this is just kind of slowly decaying and, sh and shrinking. Yeah, yeah actually. Highway 35. 
You know, I don't think we've actually found the location of this photograph. Maybe somebody can correct me on that, but I don't think we've actually looked into where this photograph was taken. And I wish I could tell you, but I, I don't know. I, all I can say is it was probably taken in Ohio. Um, oh, actually. Squirrel yeah. Noises says Chapman Avenue Chapman in Cleveland. Chapman Avenue in Cleveland. Huh. So, yeah, Ohio, yeah, Cleveland. Well, yeah, Cleveland. Could, could the ARG be so enmeshed that if we go to Google Maps, there'll be a clue there? <laughs> no, but they are doing some shooting in, in Ohio, according to the game today for the movie. Uh, and we'll talk about that maybe later. Uh, that's where Chris oh. Stuckman comes in. Um, Chris Stuckman. Yeah. So Sorry. moving down the thread. It is fun to say. <laughs> Hopefully it has nothing to do with that. Uh... Oh, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. <laughs> the group was made up of Riley, Peter, and uh, Laura, and David. Hi, David. Uh, they go. On, they just go on adventures to the creepiest places in Ohio, and since I'm from the Midwest, I felt like I was on the adventure with them. Riley, the blonde one, was basically my idol uh, since she was the sort of leader. I also right. found this screenshot I took, and there must be uh, more on my computer that I'll find. This was from one of their episodes. If you look closely, there seems to be a ghost in the corner. I am more of a skeptic about ghosts now, but I remember seeing this and being super scared. Um, and we will get more out of that content later. This shows up in the video footage. What's going on with Velma's face? Uh, it's just a super low-res picture, man. <laughs> Eight megapixels. Eight megapixel cannon. Take yeah. pictures. That is. The I hope. Dope. I hope the real uh, thing about this ARG is these four people. They're just trying to get clicks, so they're making this creepy thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's a marketing campaign Where's for the movie, that's it. Where's this ghost talking about? Wait. It's over here on the right hand side, and if you can see it. Oh, I just thought that was a bag. This one stuck to a brand. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the problem is, I'm not good to have on here because I'm just a skeptic. I'm like. Ugh. Bag ghost time. There we go. Well, to be fair, literal bag lady. If it is, if bag you take a picture outside of Cleveland and you're in a forest outside of Cleveland, there's going to be so much litter. Like, <laughs> oh it makes God. total yeah. sense to me that it would just be a bag. <laughs> that you look, you you pan out ten feet and there's a Walmart right there. Are you? Is this just going to turn into a live stream where we shit on Cleveland? Is that where we're? Is that where this no. is going? No, no, I love the I love the Midwest. Cleveland's <laughs> fine. Cleveland's Ohio's, fine. Ohio's Ohio's cool. I mean. My Michigan husband might have other opinions, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Let me switch over. We to are him. also see this thing. We can put ourselves except for Ren, I guess. But me and David can put ourselves in the shoes of a Midwestern person in, squad? In, yeah. who's watching a ghost hunting squad who's from the Midwest. I get some pride when I well, find and out. This, I mean, this reminds me of back when we were little kids. I let I grew up. Um, I went to this elementary school that was kind of out in, in the, um, not in the woods, but it was like out in the rural country. And there was this old barn that was in the woods next to our elementary school. And there was always like rumors going around that somebody found a girl next, like with a bucket of blood in there. Oh right? Or like somebody like did this like ritual there. Right. And all these like rumors of like that thing. So like, I feel like that also is a very Midwestern thing to be like, Oh, these old rural places have all these spooky things going on. Um, also, I don't know that it just seems like a very Midwestern thing, partially because of, you know, the, the decline of rural country areas. Side. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, also like, like even are... like Detroit has a bunch of ghost stories because of all the industry that just leaves all these abandoned buildings. There's yeah. like that sort of thing happens in Virginia uh, for the context viewers. I'm from Virginia. I am the one <laughs> southerner here. It happens. I mean, you get like like stories, but the stories are so much more focused on like relationship to the land or relationship to, you know, this in this figure or event. It's very rarely that it's, it was it's very rare that like kids are passing around these narratives. They're things you pick up when you go to like a historical museum or you talk to somebody who's like 80 years old and they're like so i heard this back in you know at 67 and it's a very different culture as far as how those pieces of folklore get transferred but i mean if, if what you're saying is true and it's like oh well kids will just talk about this shit then like no wonder that gets wrapped up in the technology of childhood yeah oh totally and like you know a big thing when we were young was like doing those videotapes right or, or doing that kind of stuff and like it just kind of all, you know, it all kind of gets enmeshed together in, in the experience of childhood, which is part of why the the scooby dooness of it all also makes sense, right? Because mm -hmm. that that's weirdly been a very popular 
IP for the last 60 years. Um, <laughs> Hannah seven, Barbera 50 years has again. done everything uh, they can someone... to sync that IP, and they have not been able to. So someone in the Discord when under our post about, Siri, about the Twitch stream is like, I'm trying to reset my Twitch password because there's nothing else, but it's because nothing else to do in the Midwest. So everyone tries witchcraft, and now there's ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I agree. I believe 100%. that. Hey, not... I just went to Applebee's and I'm going to Jungle Cruise for free. So <laughs> you can say there's nothing to do in the Midwest, but. <laughs> good old Applebee's. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We are, we're, I'm very apt to get off track. So sorry remember... if you came looking for serious analysis. <laughs> I can't remember who it said. Serious analysis on serious play. I can't remember who said that at this, but like I know somebody I watched was like, I don't understand the Applebee's slogan look good in the neighborhood any applebee's is like exactly positioned to be out of your neighborhood like it's it's at an airport or in like a shopping center that's not your neighborhood <laughs> hey our our applebee's is right next to the old used game store at the local used game store in town okay so, well i guess that counts as the neighborhood that it's is my neighborhood shopping center i mean it's by well yeah mine's not in my neighborhood it's because <laughs> mine's next to the movie theater so that's anyway. where they all are I don't, Fred, mine Fred, and virginia's in the co- next to the coals what are you telling me to get back on track <laughs> get trying yeah, you get this back on the rails are you telling me they're not they're not here to listen to us talk about applebee's <laughs> dynamics i okay uh i watched every um, just so just so i can follow along in the discord too where where is where was the post that uh ren put up in the vm instant discord there are it's- like five channels dedicated to the paranormal paranoids under a subheader okay oh i see it okay um i watch every single episode and vlog uh they made the group seemed seem to disappear out of the blue though they didn't leave a goodbye video or post on their blog and other fans uh would ask in the comments uh where they went where they went but got we got no response uh it was super weird i remember being so obsessed i became an online sleuth i took sh- uh, screenshots of episodes and other stuff to put the pieces together but since i was 12 i couldn't drive to ohio eventually I eventually stopped and moved on since I ran out of options and couldn't find answers. Finding this computer, though, brought it all back to me. Uh, Now that I'm older, I'm hoping that I can find some answers. If anyone has any leads, I'd love to stop swap notes. This is a fun little side thing for me, but it'll definitely soothe my tween curiosity. So DM me if you've got anything. Okay. So it's already community oriented, right? Like the, the original post is like, hey, let's talk about this. Even though it's obviously like a constructed narrative. Yeah, anyway, and then we sorry. get this comment, which is the other one that's really important to point out, which is this account called uh, Noir. Uh, we'll just call him Noir, really. Uh, but looking for Paris <laughs> 7, right? Which is you know clearly affiliated with the account. Um, I'm here for your answers. Looking for Paris 7. I'll open him in the, right there in case we need him. Uh, were you a fan too? You could say that. Do you have any theories where they might have gone and find it hard to find information? I, right. I love the you can. I, so this kind of points out my periods in Twitter and tweets as well as in text chat. When you say you can say that period, something serious is going on. Something hinky is going on with the period. <laughs> the the ellipse, the old powerful ellipse. It's honestly kind of it's kind of crazy. I, I was watching. Sorry, another tangent, but I promise it's great. <laughs> But the reason why I'm bringing up Scooby Doo so much is obviously lots of different stuff. But in um, the the old like the newest, it was released in like 2012. There were two seasons called Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. Mm-hmm. It's oh, kind of like the same mystery where there was an original Mystery Incorporated before Scooby Doo and like the gang became Mystery Incorporated, and they're trying to like follow all these clues. And there's this mysterious guy named Mister E who's like helping them get clues to figure out what happened to the original mystery incorporated. Cause they all disappeared too. It just, it's just an interesting mm-hmm. little parallel. Cause like when I first saw this, I'm like, Oh my God, it's like, it is that, but obviously I'm sure like there's lots of different threads um, in this kind of thing, but it's just, it's just uh, like a very similar narrative arc, which I thought was interesting, that is but really also interesting. it, it it's also points to how like even in ARGs, right. Genre is still, even in this, hyper textual whatever you want to call it you know diffuse text like the genre is still so powerful in these kinds of narratives oh yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's interesting i i i mean Should we do our- i actually our- wonder if they wanted to get mr e instead of noir or something like that because noir has struck me as strange for this arg not because you know it's not foreboding and doesn't have the right symbolism it's just because it's a it's a little bit less direct than 
the rest of the stuff that's here, you know? Paranormal Paranoids. Okay, I get what that's about, you know? It's canny. Jess is searching picture of, you know, um, Scully. Okay, it's canny. I get it. Um, but, you know, the thing about, about uh, Mr. E as an account name is that it's been kind of... S- there's... So don't go looking for this audience, but there is a semi-large QAnon influencer who was using that handle on Twitter uh, fairly recently. And so it's entirely possible that if that account hasn't been banned, that that handle just isn't available. Or maybe they just decided they wanted to go with something more cryptic and more in the realm of like a traditional to the arc uh, style uh, person with the whole like, you know, you've got the exponent and all of that tossed in you know it, it could go either way they could have not been able to get the handle they needed or they got the handle that they, exactly what they wanted it's just for a different genre well it's sometimes like investigating sort of like a uh, i mean i kind of understand it if they want something alongside that might be not pointing like not super obvious but still adjacent like film, like investigations film noir that kind of stuff like yeah it's adjacent yeah. but it's not as obvious if they want to continue to construct the narrative, you know? So pushing forward here, let me uh, I just keep switching all these feeds. It's very, I don't understand why people have stream decks. Um, so, you know, we move from this. Uh, I have to kind of back up in the thread a bunch because that's not, you know, Twitter's weird. Um, and also, God. Uh, so we get into the videos almost immediately after this, but this is the one other post that we get before we get to the videos, which is, so continue to look through my old computer, and I found the screenshot of a Yahoo Answers question from probably 2009 about when the Paranormal Paranoids went missing, uh, assuming, or about where the Paranormal Paranoids went. I haven't Was seen... It, sorry. Hmm? Oh, sorry. You, you finished, and then I have a question. Sorry. Sure. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I haven't seen a new video from the Paranormal Paranoids in over a year, and they don't update their blog anymore. What happened? They were just starting to get so uh, get big, so I thought I'd see more episodes, but now even the YouTube page is gone. Anyone know what happened? I think they got bored? Um, and then IDK, they seemed really, uh, they seemed to like ghost hunting, so it wouldn't so wouldn't think they'd leave without saying anything. I think their last blog post before Radio Silence said they were going to uh, some place called Shelby Oaks. Never heard of it. I was always a skeptic, but their videos and blog were fun. Uh, so I hope they're just on hiatus. And Have then there's a little bit of I love, can I point out the the authentic old meme that yeah. is contemplating Raptor? That is that guy's <laughs> icon. <laughs> I don't actually baby, know if that's yeah. what it's called, but it's the Raptor thinking. Uh, it's, um, so that was published May 20th of this year. Uh, speaking of obsolescence, uh, Yahoo Answers was shut down May 4th of this year. Was it really? Ah. Mm-hmm. So it's just interesting, again, like that recurrence of like uh, the obsolescence of, uh, you know, of a of now. And now it's not even, you know, just like the materiality of the physical object, but in ways like the materiality of the yes, or the aesthetics, you know, of the of the website or, or of the old internet um, is used in many things, and like it's. I don't think it's uh, it's not a coincidence, right? That part of how they're choosing to tell the story of the ARG is through like a recently obsolescent website. Yeah, well, it's also <laughs> you know like I mean? it. It kind of shows the. I was reading a really interesting article that is like the internet is not forever, and this is an issue because they're talking about archiving old 1990s websites that are or like the mid 2000s websites that are completely like pretty much gone because of updating (laughs) because things get updated so often that you just you lose what the original website looked like or what it was and like yahoo answers just got shut down so it's like okay what what do we do so that's why archiving is important for internet research yeah absolutely especially but maybe maybe this archival footage should not be seen (laughs) (laughs) oh well, it, it's hard that. to know. <laughs> Period. Like, uh, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I mean, we'll get to that, right? I mean, I think, like, anytime you have paranormal shit on screen, there's always the, maybe this isn't for human eyes. And, like, you know, maybe that's true. I, I mean, it's hard to know. We There are so many little things going on. Like, so, you know, a bit of a brief history lesson, I guess. A lot of the previous 
ARGs in the horror genre, especially from the time that like the Paranormal Paranoids would have been filming in universe were specific entity ARGs, right? You had like the Slender Man or the Rake or Habit or, you know, insert one character that was going to be haunting throughout the piece. And even if that character wasn't necessarily the focal point, you know, that was it. It was the monster. That's the monster. God, there are so many fucking spirits in Paranormal Paranoids. So like, it's hard to know, establish that same, this is forbidden footage vibe when you don't have a monster that transfers itself through video footage, you know? Yeah. Well, and it's interesting too, again, that Victorian tie-in, right? In Wisconsin, not a surprise, right? Also another connection. In Wisconsin was where like those two little girls like stabbed another girl mm -hmm. and it was just like this weird relationship to slender man right and it's also again that kind of like rural midwest it just has that certain vibe and connection to these stories that i think is kind of elusive and can be explored further mm -hmm. um yeah. and it's it's just like again it's kind of like a frankenstein's monster but but this time it's slender man right and and yeah. these two girls fell prey well, to him or it's whatever just, it's, it's very connection yeah i but will say that world. the the two girls that unfortunately stabbed their their friend uh was in tosa which is part of the milwaukee megapolis at this point yeah. uh so they were not they but they wanted to go to rural wisconsin they're like we're gonna stab this person and then we're going to go to the north woods and hang out with slender man like that was their plan <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, that I'm laughing because of the way I'm saying it. No, it's, 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 very, it's there, ridiculous, there, there, but it's also um, like horrible. I mean, it's both these. Yes. It's both of these things. So yeah. kind of, it points to the the mysticism of like, oh, the Northwoods are spooky or forests are spooky. Well, just the Germanic tie-ins and like Slenderman having in some There's origin stories of, Germanic tie-ins. It, it's a lot of Germ Germans in this these parts. So yeah. I, it, it, you oh can't make these kind of parallels up, unfortunately. Um, and, and mediocre uh, oh. bottle in chat makes a really good point, which is, you know, maybe the, that the entities are there to cover our obsession with glitches, which gets back to the yes. technology <laughs> again. Um, it, it really does. I mean, you know, but ARGs are designed to be navigated in the way that web text is designed to be navigated. So mm -hmm. these things get tied in. But I mean, I don't want to essentialize it in that just that way. I think. Like the ghost in the machine trip goes back much further, um, and our obsession with the way video skips or audio skips goes back much further. Well, it's like um, it's oh, like yeah. the thing, not not the thing, uh, the that thing by Lauren Hill. No, the, the thing Carpenter? that no. Oh my god, my brain's gonna. You guys are gonna be like, you don't remember that movie, the movie's called where they had the videotape, and if you watch the videotape in seventy, oh, the ring, dying, uh, the ring, yeah, the ring, the ring, the ring. Yeah. The ring. Yeah. <laughs> there, and, and there's a there's a lot of um japanese horror films that surrounded like vhs in the early 2000s yes. there's the yeah. set of short films that's collected it's called vhs i mean yeah Perfect. it's there i probably ask my friend for all of her campy japanese horror films that's like that's that's free real estate also hi hard sell friend of the show is back um so they're all friends of the show. They are all friends of the show. So switching our ourselves back over to I can't believe we've only done tweets in <laughs> 45 minutes, but that's us, right? Uh, anyone uh, yep. know what that's, Shelby Oaks is? Yeah. Google tells me that it's either a golf course, Shelby an elementary Oak. school, uh, school, or an apartment complex. Maybe it's the elementary school. I remember them doing a ghost hunt at another elementary school before. Also, yes, my old Yahoo account was just Molder ninety five because I was 100% sure I was going to marry Fox Mulder when I was 11. I wasn't kidding when I said <laughs> all I did was watch X-Files and paranormal videos on YouTube growing up. Um, now, Jess also will reply to, uh, like, fan stuff in Twitter. None of these are, like, beyond helpful. There are some that have been, you know, helpful in clearing up particular details. Uh, but just for the sake of our sanity, I'm going to stick to the mainline stuff. Okay. Unless chat has something where they're like, hey, you really need to look at this and then like throw it our way and we will definitely look at it, especially if just yes. updates while we're streaming, which could happen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, again, adding to like the believability of this character, right? I mean, you get the sense that this is the kind of person who might have had like a live journal or something. Um, uh, uh, I, she's hashtag not like other girls sort of vibes. <laughs> yeah, but far more. Harriet the spy. 
aware of it now. So well, far more aware. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we 100%. get the the noir stuff now, uh, which is interesting. And like I brought up noir earlier, uh, right? Uh, but noir posts a lot of stuff. Um, okay. Like not a, well, not a ton, a ton, but enough that it's worth kind of backtracking now and saying like, oh, well, you know, what was noir doing? Uh, or what is noir doing? Well, he's he's kind of tracking Jess around and mostly just posting videos. He replies to her quite often. And I'll point out those replies. They're often not substantial and foreboding. So if there's something to take away from noir uh, just at the outset. It's that he is like doing some sort of threat here. You know, yeah, I don't want to know. Like, don't come looking. Yeah. Or do come looking. I want to show you everything. Um, yeah. This is the first video. And this comes from like all of the point? videos. Most I shouldn't say all most of the videos, especially the vlog entries come from Noir. So Noir sends just this video, um, which we'll start with kind of now. Just so I know, because mm -hmm. uh, it gets me very. Do any of these have jump scares in them? There is one, I think, that I might consider a jump scare. The other ones, if there are scares in the other ones, they're fairly telegraphed. There are not a lot of them. OK, so here I'll throw on closed captions. I don't know how I would just say if you could are. just give a little warning. <laughs> yes, I, I'd like that's just that's just like the one thing that I cannot handle. Is it is a little jump scare. Um. My name is Riley, <laughs> um, and I've gotten some questions from fans about the paranormal paranoids and how we got started and everything. So I thought I'd demystify things a little bit. Um, so it began as kind of something of a joke. Um, with David and me. Um, we just thought it would be kind of fun. So we started putting it together and then obviously Peter and Laura wanted to be a part of it. So the name, the name was another question. The name was sort of a group effort, though I think Peter really felt strongly about it being alliteration and getting paranormal paranoids just very hard to say, really, is what it, what it is. Um, yeah, we're mostly from Ohio, all of us. And what other questions? Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, oh, how did I get interested in ghosts? Um, I got interested in go. I think I've always been really interested. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I can sense things, but... I don't know, maybe everyone does, but I, yeah, just, I think I'm really intrigued by what we don't know in the, the mysteries that are still out there. I feel like so many of the mysteries are gone, so it's nice to remember that we don't know everything, and there's a lot out there that has a darker tinge, so... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching our channel, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully, maybe we'll do more of these. Let us know in the, you know, the comments down there somewhere. <laughs> so there you go. I don't know. Uh, that is that's kind of the first the first episode. That's where we're at. Okay. So you and know, so is like. Oh, hey, here are these things. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, he's he sends her this and, you know, says, oh, hey, let me get the specific uh, quote while we're here. Because he sends it. To, he says, I found something for you. No other Bye. context. Oh, actually, that's not true. There is there is a little bit more there. It is a little bit creepy. Let me let me. Sh uh, can you guys see it right now? I think you can. Yes. Yep. yes yeah. Yep. OK, cool. Yeah. So he says, I found something for you. Gives you the video. Gives her the video and then says this bizarre bit where she says i'm also he says i'm also a fan of riley she has really nice hair hey you know she has really nice sorry hair. morgan I, I it's she does but that's, know, that's, that's kind of a weird comment out of somebody whose previous statement was just i found something for you you know 
Yeah, it's it's meant to it's meant to be a, a off putting. Yeah. It's got some Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre vibes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's got some like voodoo doll kind of thing to it, um, mm-hmm. or, or you know something like that. Yeah. So thoughts on the first the first video in the series? Gonna run it. Um, it seems silent while it's. It seems pretty kind of. I don't want to say standard, but it seems pretty like. A kind of a typical thing where it's like, oh, like there's one little section like where she was like, some things have like a darker tinge, right? Like it's like, oh, there's that little taste of something spooky going on and before it like gets on into like the full yeah. spooky thing, right? Like that seems to be at least in the ones I've seen so far, not the people in a house live here because that thing's just weird the whole way yeah. through. But yes. um, <laughs> but um, thanks, Ram City. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Uh, but but uh, in the catastrophe crow in this one, right? It's kind of setting up. It's the it's the exposition before the rising action. You know. Yeah, yeah. it's also like um, there are certain points where she stops the camera to do her spooky talking, and you, I don't know if it's a fully or not, but like the camera creaks stop because the camera still moves a little bit, but like the camera creaks stop. And everything's quiet, so she can say her spoopy thing. And then they move on, and you can hear the camera creaks again. Yeah, it's a little... When you move the VHS camera, it, like, waddles like that. Like, that's a real thing that happens with those... I don't know if you guys have used those camcorders, but... Oh, yeah, I used to use those camcorders. It was, was like, oh, this is really nice. Either it's Foley or, or it's an actual camera, but you can tell that they stop it to prevent it from jittering for those, like... 30 seconds but that's just it's very cinematic in a way yeah it, actually with the everyman hybrid arg they were shooting on these like dslrs and it took me the longest time to figure out what that racking noise was that would appear and it's literally like them fiddling with the autofocus and like racking this mm-hmm. really fast to get yeah. the click and i'm like mm-hmm. damn that's and then putting that noise in so it sounds like the camera's going which is interesting because it does actually kind of give you that feedback if you try and jam an autofocusing camera. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, right. it's uh, in the same vein, I think. And just so people yeah, are clear, you know, here's the essentially a model. You just rack this back. And, and I happen to have a lot of cameras sitting in here. So, so. Eh. I want to get I had a van, Panasonic VHS tape camera, actually, that I left in Virginia. And I'm going to bring that up because it's just it's like it's like this big, man. It's crazy. All right. But yeah, I mean, that. that materiality, getting it into the, the sound design, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It oh, my gosh. Hearts. <laughs> Sorry. Hard sell says who needs haunted VHS? <laughs> I'm waiting for the haunted NFT in 30 years. That already happened. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to wait that long because um, uh, oh hey, it's doing the, it's playing other video. It auto plays. Yep. Um, yeah. Or I mean, or it's like, who needs a haunted spaceship when you already have Jeff Bezos going? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You don't have to. The wait real that world long. is scarier. The the uh, fucking uh, <laughs> jaduzable ARG guy started selling the um, Ben Drowned videos as NFTs. That's right. You you too can be the owner of King Kong WMV. <laughs> so well okay so we got Ooh. that we got yes. creepy noir yes we have creepy, creepy noir so if we go back to you. to jess here and let me switch my my feeds here do 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 i mean yeah this is i see why stream decks now it makes sense um after that we pretty much immediately get another one from him uh tweet is unavailable i don't know who that came from i assume it came from noir and noir made it unavailable um but he says then I love her voice and hands her this video, uh, which I think is the second one on the channel. Let me make that. Uh, no, actually, there was another one. It's, it's a vlog. I don't remember exactly where that one comes from, though. Uh, let me see if I can find it because it might have shown up in another thread. OK, so we get this interaction as well, right? Um, where Jess thanks him for what happened um, and then I guess another tweet gets sent, and this is the deleted tweet is the one where that other uh, footage is shown. Uh, okay. That seems to be what this is implying. Wow, I don't even remember this one. This is great stuff. Thank you. 
Um, I remember Riley mentioning Mia. Maybe somebody knows her sister. She has uh, she has to really know what happened. She'll know what happened, which is again foreboding. Um, Period. Full yeah. stop. Again, I don't know what you mean, Lol. Thanks for sending it along. Comments are kind of vague. I'm getting a bit creeped out. Uh, and I think so. This is 20 seconds. Then Noir starts kind of posting on his own. He says, "I found something," which is its own kind of weirdly foreboding thing. Uh, it, it is also worth noting that like this account because it doesn't re it doesn't have a profile it doesn't appear to have a profile picture although I don't believe that is exactly the default Twitter profile pic. Um, it looks like a game no, jacker, mm -hmm. um, which you know as your somebody in the comments here points out right they say uh, here it looks like a jacker which I think they're referring to J Van here which yeah it does that that's probably is a jacker but this. This account normally would look like, you know, a game jacker or something. Somebody trying to steal the mm -hmm. ARG away. And in this What's case, this it's... picture he posted? Seen. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, that's it on the 23rd. So we're on the 22nd right now. Oh, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. So here is the second video in the series. Oh, like a speed up thing. Oh, so did they get the... Ooh, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> no, I'm not... Oh shit, I'm doing really bad right now. We're both we're both doing god awful right now. <laughs> oh, I thought that might have been a good thing. It was actually a block thing. Ooh. Hey, how how's your sister doing? I haven't I haven't talked to her in a while. Honestly, uh she's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, she she just started um she's been dating this guy, Robert. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. She's, She's dating cool. a guy. I, wow. Okay. That's you know, cool. my sister can get boys. <laughs> you guys no, are I just thought, you know, like, I just figure she doesn't really get out and meet people too much. So she this is does. Like new Why do you think that's not a thing that Mia does? I, I don't know. She just. I, don't know. I feel like she plays things kind of close to the best. I can't really tell what's going on with her. What do you but, mean? She, no, I mean I like, just. I just don't know. I think I it's just because she's my sister, and you're like. Oh yeah. I mean. Anyways, yeah. She's dating this guy, Robert. He seems cool. really cool. Good for her. Good for Robert. Yeah, great for Robert. <laughs> the better for Robert. Um, but... And I'm struggling. God, I'm going so slow. I need one of those little cracky Speedy things. Speedy thing. Oh, I keep missing them. Um, yeah, this is like Rainbow Road. I need to go slow. Yeah, she's been a little, like, I don't know, terse with me lately. She, Why? She thinks What'd I'm do? spending too much time... Like with the you guys essentially. <laughs> Ooh, as opposed to what? Well, just like that, I'm not getting a job. <laughs> I have a job. I know. Oh I know. no, I. That's oh, but I've resurrected. Um. Yeah, I don't know. She doesn't really get the channel and. Yeah, but we. I mean, we can make some serious money off of this, you know. I don't. I don't think. She, I don't think she realizes. We haven't. We haven't yet. But you. Inv I mean, you invest, you know. You invest. Yeah. Yeah. You invest your time in it, and plus, I mean, come on, we could be doing a lot worse things. At least I know we're not that out is doing fucking cocaine out here. You know, we're doing. That's what I should remind her, Mia. Yeah. I'm not doing fucking cocaine. <laughs> yes, exactly. You should it's sing like, from the rafters because yeah. I'm not. It's like we're staying away myself. from the needle. We're just, you know, going to creepy looking places, seeing creepy things. It's great. Yeah, it is great. I don't know. I, I think she's just kind of upset because I haven't been around as much, but it's okay. Yeah. Well, why? Now she can spend uh, so much time with Robert. She doesn't right. Need, she, she doesn't need you. I, does, I think, honestly, if I had been around more, she and Robert she, wouldn't have met. I was just thinking and that. she doesn't like it whenever I get up. Because, you know, you know, she and I would, like, spend so much time together doing Fuck. random... Oh, these things are so annoying! <laughs> they really suck. They really put a random thing. I think I'm so behind everyone else. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, No. I think she yeah, honestly went to the bar more because. No, I'm really, I'm really happy I, for I her. I think she. Her. I think she deserves. Because you know, my company. You should just be really grateful all the time that you get to hang out with me. I'm very, you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, sometimes it's a little, it's, it's a little rough. Uh, oh fuck you! I'm just no, you're great. David usually, likes usually. you, right, David? Oh yeah, David, you've been so quiet over there. What's been going? <laughs> Ooh, David's creeping. David's just zooming in and zooming out.
I'm zooming in, I'm zooming out. It is very bizarre behavior from a camera camera operator. <laughs> Generally speaking, you don't want your camera operator just sitting there and going. So like. So, so we get Mia out. and Robert from that. They're also now I'm noticing mm -hmm. that we're talking about old media. They're just surrounded by old media while they're doing this. Yep. Yeah. 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 I was trying to playing old to games, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They mentioned Mario Kart, but I'm pretty sure they were using not GameCube controllers. <laughs> they're using like big boys. They're using like, Xbox original controllers. I mean, they probably aren't <laughs> playing. I mean, if you're shooting I, I, that, it sounds like they might have been playing Halo or something. Maybe. <laughs> Because like they, they she racing. was talking about creatures. Oh, oh. about crackers. Yeah, like, she's little talking about things. like. So it's like oh. it was a racing game. They say I Rainbow Road, so I mean I think we just assumed that. Oh, I got confused. Yeah. But I was trying to figure out what kind of what kind of games were on the shelf behind them, if they were games like the game cases. Yeah, it's hard to. I think like That's somebody in the vehement the server night. has said they look like they could be N sixty four games. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. N sixty four. But that's like a or, lot. Of N sixty, like look at this. This is a lot of N sixty four games, and what there were only be... like two hundred or so of them. Not two hundred. There were like some of them. Could the N sixty four had very few compared. Yeah, I'm also wondering if we go by a theory of this is three hundred ninety three related somewhat to to a YouTuber or something. It's like, oh, is that a set? Of just having really nice displays of video games, it could be DS cartridges as well, or Game Cubes, or I would. I thought colors. they looked kind of like DS cartridges too. Yeah, mm -hmm. DS games. It's a still like, it's kind of hard to imagine. I mean, they all are. They're clearly all the same format, but they. That's a lot of fucking games. Like, that's just hitting me now. How many shelves there are, and how many fucking games are on those shelves? Yeah. I don't think I have that many in my whole. Maybe if I I like turn my Steam library into a physical. But uh, then again, like if you look shelf. at like collectors, like ABGNs, like yeah. uh, games or like uh, John Tron's backgrounds, you just see all of his games. Now ABGN has a myriad collection, so they're not all the same games. But mm -hmm. yeah, so I mean, what do we get out of that content-wise? We know Mia and Robert are a thing. We know Mia doesn't really approve of what Riley's doing. They seem like, you know youtube creators in 2008 having a weird moment i do think david is probably the most stark thing about that it's just like why why the yeah. hell is he filming that right then and why the hell is he just zooming in on riley um, well it seems like it, it seems like it's david, not do you know <laughs> edited for like it wasn't made for a vlog it doesn't seem like it was made for a youtube channel even back in 2008 that's not something you'd put on mm -hmm. <laughs> you'd put on youtube um, so like I feel like it might have been a personal collection if we're if I go by a hypothesis that David is noir and something creepy happened with David and being noir, you know, sort of thing. So and you may find more. What if this was a, like what if this was footage. what if this was a ruse all along and I'm doing this stream to make you think I'm here, but it's actually a doppelganger and I'm in Ohio right now <laughs> filming oh. a movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> filming a movie. <laughs> I, I, so yeah, I think that, yeah, I agree with me me mediocre that they're not they're too thick for DS games. That's where I was trying to figure out because they have the similar they have a thing at the bottom and that's the most recognizable about them. But they could all just be a ruse and they could just have had they might be VHS tapes actually. Oh, on their side. maybe that's I don't know. It's also really surprisingly grainy footage. I mean, obviously the rate, the aspect ratio screams, oh, hey, we shot this on a uh, for old in like the old YouTube format, you know? Um, oh, yeah. Trombone talking about he thinks that they were Peter and David were in cahoots to get her talking about Mia for some reason unknown to us. I could That's see true. that. It was it was he, very forced. Peter did, Peter did seem a little like up on the jump when she was like, Mia found someone. He's like, oh, she found someone. Oh, oh. and really, he it was, was like. Quick. It was that awkward, like, hey, we're playing a video game. Hey, so let's talk about drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it was very, like, thing. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, you well, again, we'll kind of get some more of that. I mean, the only thing that I can imagine otherwise. Well, that's the thing is that the writing otherwise is pretty, pretty good. And the acting is pretty solid. So 
you know, yeah, it's, I've seen like kind of rookie ARGs go and say, oh, well, the characters are doing something and somebody goes, hey, what about blah, you know, just to get the plot moving. And hmm. but it just doesn't seem so, like a move that these writers would make. And these actors I was going to say, it seems it seems less like, oh, the ARG was poorly planned. It, it's more like, oh, something suspicious is happening here. Right. And I yeah. think that's a really hard thing to balance with this kind of writing right and it's just kind of like like writing for a movie script it's like how do you make somebody sound like they're normal right so it's like but then you add to a layer of like how do you make someone sound normal but also sound like weird in a conversation but purposely weird and not, you know it's just like it's it's a lot of how layers. do we make actors of... how do we make actors act awkward like in zombie land where the main actress actor needs to be awkward but it needs to be obvious that he's not not acting yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he, he, he... It's it's a hard line to draw. Like it's something like Bo Burnham's um eighth grade. Like I can't imagine how many takes they did to get that shit filmed. And I can't imagine how hard the cinematographer was cringing the whole fucking time. Uh because I can't do it as as a viewer. I mean, I guess you get desensitized over time, but like, you know, when it comes to like rookie screenplay writing, the you can try to write a bunch of different characters, but the goal, like most screenwriters when they're starting their their work are going to just write themselves as every character they are going to take an aspect yeah. of themselves and that's what turns into that and this aspect turns into that and that's the best way to get a sense of building a large cast um without needing to be able to do a ton of character writing it takes a hell of a lot of empathy to be able to actually write people realistically um yeah uh, and and or a whole lot of manipulation skill i suppose uh, and like it is remarkable that they've managed to pull this off but I, I also just think the actors are really good at taking a script and running with it like i don't know who they got for this name wise but they've done like an excellent job uh and and scroll noises makes a really good point that they asked david a question and then bam video's out or uh, yeah. which it's but it's like, hard oh, to yeah. know whether or not that is noir's editing or the actual like clip edit end you know yeah yeah. Yeah, because it could be Noir's trying to make David look suspicious. Or ah. if Noir is David, then that also tracks, right? Like Or trying to g cover up something a little bit or, or something. Yeah. What and if he... what if Velma's off on the side doing something sketchy and she cut it out? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the lore the lore so, of the theory. Let's continue on with it. Yes, let's. So moving back over to the Twitter. So Noir then posts posts this piece, which is looks like you've been searching for answers. Um, what happened to the ghost hunting YouTubers, the paranormal paranoids after they disappeared from the internet 2008 ish, uh, Twitter, what I found so far. And then for context, I created a core account just, to, uh, just to post this, this, because I can't shake the question. Uh, uh, when I was 12 or 13, you get essentially the same thing, right? Mm, um, made a core account. Yes. She then replies, well, yeah. Are you following me around the internet? Mm -hmm. And there's some deleted tweets. Obviously we, we can't see that. Um, Going back to Jess's Twitter uh, from there, unless somebody has a comment they want to make on that, um, we then get this tweet after we are following, are you following me around the internet, which leads us into the third video. And then okay. I will go back to the tweet afterward, I think is probably the best order to do it in. So this is called Riley Plays Guitar. Sweet. It is exactly as advertised. She's indeed playing guitar. That's all we get. Um, oh, why? Uh, no, don't give me a shot. Tom Boomer. Ad. 
Chom Boomer Knuckles says, keep an eye on her cord hand or lack thereof. Yeah, it's mostly out of shot um, for most of for most of the video. Unfortunately, there was a, there was a little second where she comes in. Yeah, I think like the it. most. So are we, are we supposed to be looking at that? I mean, I'm not sure if, if, if Trom Boomer knows something I don't, then like by all means, I didn't catch anything on that. And I but the book is interesting to me. Why the hell is the book in the shot? It, I mean, obviously, it's just set placing. But like when you watch it, it feels weird. You know, it feels like something you would want out of the shot if you didn't want people's eyes on it. Well, yeah, it's it's Chekhov's gun, but, you know, the ARG. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that would be a good ARG. <laughs> Chekhov's ARG. I do actually think yeah. like there's something to good film based ARG design and like build, you know, one breaking up your game into arcs and breaking up your game in, in like following short form narrative formats. It's just so like one of the problems we run into over and over again is when a game gets too big and it's too hard to follow all the pieces. Um, yeah, the over distribution issue can really lock people out of the game and it can fuck the narrative up. And it can also lead to some really interesting, bad theories that get reincorporated back into the actual narrative. Um, but by and large, this game does a good job of keeping everything rather succinct so far. Like I said, we're kind of at the end of the first section. And then the second section is going to come in and it's going to be about this Chris Stuckman stuff. And we're going to get to that a little bit, but not much. I don't think we need to watch Stuckman's video. I think you're just good to know that, like, hey, by the way, he's making a movie based on this. But like based on this. But um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously the lyrics of the song are, are in, somewhat interesting, I guess. I mean, you get like I'm haunted in the because I'm haunted in the morning. You're haunted in the evening. Stuff like that. It feels like, like kind of a. Email Art love star. Sort of yeah. <laughs> uh, it reminds me, there's a song that's used in Alan Wake. I think it's just called Haunted by Poe or something. Um, and it is, you know, it's very much the same sort of thing where it's mm -hmm. just like, oh, here's some pretty good, but emo music about being haunted. Obviously, there's deeper stuff there, but <laughs> I, I mean, again, if somebody in chat is like, hey, by the way, uh, oh, here we go. In RLM, this is from Chom Boomer Knuckles, in, R in the RLM video, that bleeds through, uh, does show her chord hand playing G and the C, but you never see it in this video. Okay, that's interesting, actually. So is that specifically in the video where um, uh, the boy is? I don't want to spoil it for them, so we're just going to call him the boy. The boy. The boy. He's coming. <laughs> He's a, he is the thing, the tip off that this has some budget behind it. I will just say that. He's super fucking impressive. Um... If that is in that is video. He, is it Haley Joel Osment? <laughs> Absolutely. It's Sora. Boy. How did you know? This is a Kingdom Hearts ARG. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Kingdom Hearts is Disney the ARG. <laughs> it, it, I, <laughs> it's no, certainly Disney the convergence but... <laughs> culture. <laughs> All right. Um, but, yeah, I, it it's definitely interesting. definitely seems like a home video sort of thing that he has and we've got now i didn't know that it was a new piece of content but confirmation that noir is editing these videos to some degree because there's footage we haven't seen that is part of this video so um we presumably the camera didn't just cut out and if we, there was footage from her from another police then we know that like there is an editor at, at play here which is good to kind of just put a check mark on you know and i think this is kind of one of those, it's a video, if this is like 2008, like it's definitely a cover or something that someone would post on a personal YouTube ch channel. Just be like, hey, I played the song, let me post it. <laughs> like, all of like Rob Scallon or something like that. Like, it's definitely something that would, that could get posted to a YouTube. So maybe it's not like 100% family, a family video, but it also is something, um, that wouldn't be on like the main channel. You'd have to search it out, you know? Yeah, it's, I think it's labeled. I don't think it's labeled as a vlog here, but we, yeah, vlogs. There we go. This person has been sending me old paranormal paranoids of vlogs, but this video looks like a private home video. Uh, oh, so this is a private home video. Okay. So yeah, you're spot on. Well, this one looks like a. Yeah. They only give vague answers as I asked Marvel, who are you essentially? And then it looks like another tweet is unveil unavailable. Oh, this is so one of the ones we're missing. We can confirm is the creepy drawing tweet. Um, I hope we have a snapshot of that because that's kind of a big deal later. 
but yeah. So this is kind of an interesting way that they're doing the ARG if it's intentionally getting deleted and such of a well if you're not there to begin with you just get this these it, it's reproducing the thing that they're trying to figure out where is the paranormal and then as you go through it um things get deleted things get moved and so you're losing context as the ARG is moving and you're like wait there's a something here that I'm missing like mm. the missing paranormal people Mm -hmm. God, I, I used to have like the um, I need to reread Cybertext Poetics, but there's a there's a specific term in <laughs> Cybertext theory for that that has to do with access. I know access is the yes. keyword, and there is a specific version of access that that is. Um, um, mediocre says the drawing tweet is on Noirs. Drawing tweet is on Noirs. Is it still on Noirs? Why is it blacked out on ours? I don't think it is. It's not at least in his main feed. Maybe in his replies, but. Or maybe saved in his media. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, this is okay. It's a bear person. I wonder why it comes up as unavailable if you're not following Noir on his account. That's interesting. So yeah, ooky there's definitely some access spooky. shit going on. Okay. I don't like that. That's ooky spooky, and that's gonna be in my nightmares tonight. <laughs> it looks like a bear. And I'm probably not even lying. Now, um, this does this doesn't have any. So it says okay, creepy drawing. So this is her asking who Noir is, and then Noir's like, "Here, have this picture." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what a what a incongruent answer. Yeah, it is um, definitely a thing. It, it, it um, and and this this drawing shows up later, and you'll see it again, and and David will not like that he sees it again. Um, but yeah, I mean, what an answer to give, right? Like here's this drawing that we don't know the context of and it looks fucking weird. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it, it really is pulling all the tropes on like, here's a creepy account that's following you. But like, it also <laughs> manages to go outside of those tropes and make me feel like she's being stalked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Which I mean, like, it's also, go ahead, David. I don't know. It, it, that seems a little too straightforward to me. Uh, and maybe, maybe I'm like expecting a twist when there isn't one. But it's kind of like, is that, is that a good enough thing? Like, it, like, is that a narrative that's like, I don't know. You know, it's like, um. If she's the one who's drawn this creepy stuff, she might be. I I kind of I kind of think of her as kind of like a Laura Palmer. Like yeah. there's something else going on. You know what I mean? Um, it's interesting that you bring that up because I think like Riley aesthetically is a pretty big match for Laura Palmer. Yeah, and I think I I mean and Twin Peaks with this kind of narrative again, I I feel like because ARGs are so heavily mediated like they are particularly invested in intertextuality in a ways that other things aren't. So like, I'm always drawing, you know, and bringing in those ideas in mind because like, I've just, as like a viewer, I just think of those things. Mm -hmm. Right. And like, for me, it's like the first, when she first showed up, I'm like, she looks a lot like Laura Palmer. Um, you know, kind of your classic, like, Midwestern beauty kind of girl. And just, like, for me, like, oh, it's an ARG where, like, they discover something creepy and then something stalks them. Like, to me, that's just, like, a too straightforward a narrative for this kind of thing. Yeah, and... I don't know. Well, you mean... But maybe so it's just me being, like, oh, whatever. To build on the Laura Palmer thing, though, I mean, she, it is an ARG where, like, not only is Riley the principal matter of subject in the video footage, but she's also, like the one that goes missing, the person whose private life we're uncovering currently. Like, it, it, she is filling a very Laura Palmer role. But instead of there being a yeah. town, it's it's just this group. Um, But it does seem, you know, and now that you're mentioning it, actually, the, like, the beast connotation with Noir does not seem dissimilar to the Lodge and Bill. But, like, hmm... It's I don't know. I hope they don't just I, I really hope where this story is eventually going isn't just a rip of Twin Peaks, but anything that's inspired <laughs> by by Lynch is always something I will appreciate. I, I really like Lynch's mm -hmm. work. 
Um, yeah, I, I just think I. <laughs> Do you not know that joke? Uh, yeah, and it, like, and like for me, and maybe it's just like too, I don't know. I just kind of want, I want something other than like a parent. And maybe it's me as a viewer, and like I'm not saying everybody should feel this way, but it's like I really want like a mystery where like it's kind of like more ambiguous, right? And I think the ARG like it has so much space for ambiguity that I hope it doesn't simplify into mm -hmm. that. Yes. You know what I mean? Like I want, I want it to be. A, a drawing out not a narrowing down when we come to like investigate new information yeah you know and I, I mean? think one of the things that since the ARG is on the internet um that it's the internet is so ambiguous like your friend could just like if you're on discord or something and you have a friend who just disappears and ghosts you you unless you're really good at tracking them down you're never gonna see them again you're never gonna find them you're gonna be like hey we played with that guy on final fantasy like two years ago and i've never seen him ever again mm -hmm. and we were really close on final fantasy and then he just disappeared I think that's so i feel like it's this is kind of ripe for that of you don't actually know like you might not ever know something creepy might have happened but you're not gonna figure it out well, i figure like noir is gonna like draw those sorts of things in it's interesting i hadn't really thought about that like the kind of nascent image of the ephemeral avatar if you will right like the the individual who pops in and pops out and they're just they're there for a moment and gone but i mean that that there are two images that are brought on by noir well three there's the kind of you know proxy of the slender man years there's the that idea of like the person who's going to come in and you have interactions with them they just disappear as fast as they came but there's also this like you know when you get some of these like stalking or harassing or giving those vibes off there's something of like the specter of kiwi farms floating around in the background but it, i mean all these things become a fear i think on the internet where it's like you never know if the person who's going to jump into your server is just gonna scream at you for 30 minutes and leave um, yeah, I and like I, again, it's got a interesting connection to the technology there, right? I think especially in the early two thousands, um, it was kind of right when that pair uh, that techno utopianism was really starting to go downhill. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, and like and this creepy guy. Also, this guy it looks like he's wearing a hood, which is like David in that photo, right? So mm -hmm. like, anyway, that could be we could be talk about. But um, <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, yeah, actually, actually, I think that might be. I don't know. David and Peter melt into the same person sometimes. They're like, you'll you'll get more of a sense of it. But like, they're they're often operate as a unit. Um, and Laura's often let's, left out of a lot of shit. It seems, but pushing forward. Let's, let's let's see what else we got. Laura. We got drawing. So uh, Laura. we get the drawing. We get that. Um, this is Noir's Twitter. So let's jump over here. Uh. So here we go. Jess then says, although I thought the per person in my comments was helping me by sending those those paranormal paranoids vlogs, the more I think about it, I think they might be stalking me. It seems they only created their account after I did, and somehow found somehow found me either on Quora first, even though um, I'm sure the Twitter algorithm isn't working in my favor uh, to make it easy to find my account. IDK. Uh, they just search maybe they just search paranormal paranoids and find me about chance but they're now sending me videos of riley and creepy drawings um and avoiding all my questions i would block them uh at the same time i feel like i'm on to something it is nice to see a protagonist in a horror piece that is not a complete idiot uh the youtube channel yeah they're like oh this. i'm trying i'm gonna go meet noir at the you know the drive or the you know park and ride at 12 p.m 12 a.m whatever <laughs> mm -hmm. There have been a host of games. Was there another? Go back to that YouTube channel thingy. Yeah, you get this was other account here, but like the Damien guy. Yeah. This is not a game account. Like this is just somebody's personal. You get a lot of people okay. coming into this who are who are interested in kind of role playing it on Twitter, and that can run into some pretty big issues as far as like you know yeah. legibility of the game. That's yeah. it. Kind of gets into an ethics question about how these games should and shouldn't be played, and what should be done as far as like policing and and monitoring the community. Jess will respond yeah. to them, which is I think good practice. Uh, but it's it's very quick to dismiss which ones are not like game accounts, mm -hmm. uh, which is always okay. good. Uh, finally, got an external CD drive for my computer, so which is a hilarious thing that anybody needs in the first place. I, I can't believe we're building laptops now without CD drives, but I digress. So finally, looking want, into all these. Thinner and thinner. Yeah, let me make sure. I forgot to switch the feeds. Boop, there we go. Uh, 
Uh, so the, um, yeah, they were also in the box. I'm pretty sure I burned some old episodes of Paranormal Paranoids on them. Uh, since they're mostly scratched, I'm going to see if I can get one working. God's that's a that's a splat. Um, that's a flash from the past. A disc scratch that, that is, much. That's that's not a normal use disc scratch. That's like I had a garage sale and all of my burn CDs got thrown onto the pavement. Uh, scratching on the top. Uh, as long <laughs> I as would, the bottom's good. I would that's argue very like intentionally scratched. I would I, say. Like, I don't... <laughs> yeah, that's that's about as much as I scratched Kingdom Hearts one after years of use as a kid. Yeah. What did you do to that poor? Disc? I didn't know how to maintenance my discs. Okay, I just I just threw them into the drive and hucked them across the wall. Whatever. Um, oh my god, I, I got one working. I'll put the full episode to YouTube shortly, and here is the link. Uh, not a lot to say here about it other than let's pop on over to, uh, uh, the Paranormal Paranoids channel and watch the first actual episode of the Paranormal the Paranoids. The method is so authentic, yes. It's so true. That was the rumor. Yeah. Um, okay, so. So, this is a I, piece. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, I am kind of getting... I get spooked very easily, just so everyone knows. Okay. So I know I know it's I know it's a fictional story and everything, but I just get spooked easy. So, um, probably so what I do sometimes this is what happened with several other AOGs we've looked at. I sometimes don't like to watch. Mm -hmm. Um, so just just know I'm here, but I'm not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know is like really I it's just it's not my thing understandable this episode should be fine I'll, I'll just be around if you want to jump if anyone wants to interject or have me pause at any time since this is a longer part of the game go ahead that's definitely the case with anything that isn't like shorter than five minutes um yeah so like because it is it becomes very difficult to like recap a whole episode after watching it sometimes so you know yeah yeah so just jump in when you want to um i'm not muting you guys at all but you'll be off screen so i can share the video and yes, I'll have closed captions on, although there's no official ones yet. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, there's my Velma, though. Yeah, I love that intro. It's really I like, amazing. I like that it goes. Uh, sometimes they're actually spooky, and sometimes they're just hopes in our brain. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's spooky, sometimes it's not. So David's filming right now? Yes, David is almost always the filmmaker. Unless uh, the camera's on a tripod. Also very... um. Windy? Oh, I was going to say very up uh, rural Midwest, just walking around. <laughs> walking around the football stadium. Very good. Very yep, good. just walking around. It is true. David knows, knows things. things. All Davids know things. That's an important fact. Spooky, spooky. I'm already a Laura Stan. Sorry. I think so. I don't think it's there, Peter. Yeah. 
Yeah. Guys, I'm literally. I'm not coming. Cannot get out of the mud right now. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Did you lose both your shoes? <laughs> yes, I lost my shoes. They're gone forever now. They belong to I'm this place. I'm not saving them. I'm sorry. I don't know where the fuck I got all that <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, okay. Well, random logging road. <laughs> Come on. There you go. That's one. <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> that you that was so your own doing. <laughs> so strong. Just so oh. strong. <laughs> All right, worth it. <laughs> this everyone is the mud monster <laughs> of Cuyahoga Falls. Oh. His name is Peter. He was a friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> Laura definitely seems like that friend that has no other friends, so she's hanging out with these people, and she's like, I don't actually know what you people are doing, but I'll hang out with you. <laughs> See, and I, I got, she's like the level-headed one, she's like, y'all are dumb. Yeah, same like, why yeah. am I here, but also like, I have no one else to hang out with, so I'm here. Yeah, which is also a very rural Midwest thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. To most people, this forest is the same as any, but to the people of Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, who remember what occurred in 1994, these woods hold a sinister story. A young married couple was on a hike when they came across the body of Mary Talbert. This is where it happened. No one ever learned why Mary took her own life. There were plenty of theories, but nothing concrete ever came forward. Many were confused over the public nature of the suicide. This is a popular hiking spot. Lots of passerby come through. She must have known that. It was almost as if she wanted to be found, wanted to be seen. Rest in peace, Mary Talbot. That's a treat. Yes, 100%. I'm definitely getting shots of the tree and not okay. right, creepily looking at you. Yeah, 100 million percent. <laughs> oh, there's the ghost. There's the plastic bag. Yep. It's a little bit easier to tell through the wind. Just a plastic bag. Right. Okay. Oh my god, now David. It's a, that's definitely a spirit in video form because it moves a little bit. Yep, yeah, it's, it's shaking a little in the wind. Yeah, it looks, it, yeah, it's got the kind of like it moves. hunched over vibes, you know. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This okay, is... and I lied. There wasn't a Walmart next to it. So, my there was bad. A football, there was a football field. Yeah, there was a football there was. field. So you that's, get the, you that's get the strong uh, stoners out past the football field in the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was probably just... <laughs> It was probably just somebody stoned, just being like. Because we can't. But no, it did look like it looked like did look like a uh, spoopy CGI spirit ghost. I will yes. Them. Yes, yes, no, yeah, it did. <laughs> Enough to give you a little spook, you know. Branches out here. <laughs> little branches. <laughs> look at the spooky Peter, branches. Stay away from mud. I hate horror so much because I get scared over nothing. <laughs> Is it? We're getting back in the car, so avoid. Like I literally played Pony oh, Island, got please. so scared. You're gonna give me a ride now. <laughs> Imagine me playing the hex, which is actually an ARG. Do not blame yeah, me. Only he could come up with a name that dumb. I... <laughs> Anybody want to defend me here? I mean, it's not a great name. I, I don't think it was solely you who came up with it, though. I, will, I, will I think it was a group I'm consensus, just, just guys. Like, all of us made What happened to team, guys? Laura's what like, let's not team? have the drama. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Laura Anybody that's amazing. that's a variation of Velma ever is just always. I'm Team Laura. Okay, our tour. Applause. 
it's except the auto translate auto captions like this is applause <laughs> the auto captions don't pick up a lot because the audio is so yeah yeah oh yeah i just like that it's called applause when it's when it's walking <laughs> so you can pick it up for them David, why don't you let me take the camera? Yeah, why Why is it that David's the one with the camera? He's so pretty, I don't understand. I, I mean, oh, stop it. I think actually, I'm David, give me the camera. No, no, no. Come on, yeah, come on. give me the camera. They're gonna turn around, he's gonna be that floating head. Okay, well, I know how, I'm fine. Look at, look at David. It's the beanie man. The channel. This is our cinematographer, David, who doesn't like to be oh, on camera. No. But we right. got him. Here I am anyway. He's Here really he is anyway. Of all hey, but if I had a stalker, <laughs> it would be Beanie Man. It wouldn't be a bad choice. <laughs> oh my God, David! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay. Are you, gonna be okay? you could do worse. Do you want me? No, we're fine. We're fine. Well, look Ooh. at our footage. Dot, dot, yeah, dot. they're also not complete idiots and don't review their footage after they film it, which is something that I was going to say in ARGs. <laughs> this was not staged. Dot, dot, dot. This was not staged. Don't give me that spooky audio. No, ma'am. So I'll... All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Believe it or not, this actually telegraphs some game mechanics, which will come up later. Oh, we're yeah. gonna play some games. Well, I mean, you know, the, the community's already found this stuff, but this is this is essentially how it was done. By changing the contrast and brightness and stuff in the video footage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this kind of sets the groundwork for, hey, there's spooky things happening. And also, this is how you play the game. Yes. This is how you this is how you find the footage and we can thank uh, Yankee for that. He's like Yankee White, I think is his handle. He's a longtime kind of ARG player uh, who's popped up in a lot of this stuff. I think one of the things oh, that really strikes me about this fucking this video in particular is how fucking disrespectful they are to Mary Tauber. Yeah. <laughs> and also. It, uh, I keep this picture of her because she kind of looks like the spooky sketch that the guy sent to me i don't know it's the eyes but anyway um but yes continue it's very disrespectful it's incredibly <laughs> disrespectful and what's what's i think bizarre about well that's the thing that really like ties me up in like the later parts of the fucking game is like I don't know who the fuck is chasing them around because they're so disrespectful to everybody they bump into. And if we take for granted that these are real spirits, then like that's that's kind of a liability, you know? Well, it's kind of like, why, why are y'all disturbing people? Why can't you just let people be sometimes, you know? <laughs> yes. Why? But, uh, and, that, and that's like half joking, but also it's just like, you Let's know, like I, I get being... Uh, being from the Midwest, right? I get being bored, and but it's like, do you really need to be like digging into things you don't need to dig into? Why can't you just go drink and watch Packers like everyone else? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ohio doesn't have football teams, so the Packers are right there. No, but, oh, no, but they I, have, I do think they have, they they have the college box, football, right? College. But like, it's it is this weird, interesting parallel where you do have the ARG, which is all about digging into every little detail to find information. And then, like, the story is kind of like, these people dug into every little detail to find information, and, you know, like, something bad's going to happen because of it. Yeah. So it, it, it is an interesting parallel in terms of, like, narrative yeah. versus, like, the way the narrative is being told, which I think add, help adds to that, like, little double layer of creepiness to it in a way that, say, like, Catastrophe Crow didn't because, like, part of the design and narrative of the thing is, like, oh, he left secret messages for his kids in there. Um, so, so then, like, you have a different kind of relationship to the narrative as an ARG plaguer. Mm -hmm. um, but then this is, like, very much like the, con the, right, the contrast of, of the ARG versus the narrative, I think, is an interesting. We already see it kind of, like, you know, breaking into each other. Where yeah. When you dig for more information, you know, something bad's going to happen. It's almost like David's going to pee his pants because he's going to be scared. <laughs> 
It's always like there's a right and wrong way to do it, and maybe running around the woods and like dancing and not expecting to find anything, and then you find you know, when you're talking about a suicide is like has consequences, you know? Or it definitely seems like the like with the jingle and stuff, it's very tongue in cheek in a way. Like, oh yeah, haha. Sometimes it's sometimes we hope, but also sometimes just in your brain, uh, sort of thing. And I feel like it is very like you were talking when you were pitching this to me you're like oh it's like 2008 youtube this would definitely fly on 2008 youtube just ethics be damn learn to go tra- tra- traipse around a forest yeah the <laughs> only the only unrealistic the only unrealistic thing about it is that it like is long <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, 10 minutes. it's over well, 10 minutes and yeah. it does not happen it's in over 10 YouTube. well no over 10 minutes like if it was over 15 it would be unrealistic because at that point you couldn't upload anything more than 15. So you'd have like part two of eight if you're trying to watch a movie on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Which I did. God, man. <laughs> what? what a time. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, I mean, no. you're absolutely right. It, it, Yeah, and also the trombone makes a good point. It also feel, I also feel like it shows the inexpress, inexperience of a new show being unprofessional as hell. And Oh, definitely. Yeah. And I don't know how old these people are supposed to be. Are they supposed to be young college they seem kind of like early 20s the... like early 20s they kind of like actors age looks early 20s but like or like mid 20s but in honestly it I also mean, would like... work if they were supposed to be cast as like old high school <laughs> like 17 yeah. year yeah. old like, like the vibe i get from work. it like like the david character seems very like old like stoner or like you know whatever like doing drugs in his hometown right and like and like riley is like the friend who's the girl who is like the girl of the group who the girl right the clone or she's like you know like she she does well but then she's like oh these are my old high school friends so i'm gonna hang out with them Mm -hmm. right it seems very much like the guys are like your classic like dropped out of college and not saying that that's what it is but that's kind of like the vibes that you get that i'm getting also like riley seems like because my friend it's kind of like the girl who's oblivious who's like oh i'm friends with you and then all the guys are like but i don't want to be friends with you i would like to be more than friends with you yeah there's and some that's of that definitely going on. definitely seems like what's going on in experience and stuff there's a um there's also a, i think riley throws out auteur as like just saying oh well david's the auteur right so it's there so, seems oh, yeah. to be some level of like film education in the group i'd mm-hmm. assume that kind of came from david since he's the guy who's they, obsessed with doing the, the actual videography and they did they called david the cinematographer yeah so they gave him that official title rather than just he's our camera guy he's the guy with the camera there maybe like, they maybe they watched um uh, what's your mahoozy? Blair Witch. Oh, uh, I mean, I they would, definitely did because David does the shot where he's like here and then he's up here, you know, and then it cuts back and that's yeah. the Blair Witch shot. Yeah. They're like jocks. I wouldn't call them. I don't know, maybe guess of what jocks are, but like in my high school, these guys would definitely be the guys who were skipping seventh and eighth hour to go yeah. smoke on yeah. school grounds. Um, <laughs> except for Laura. Um, Laura would be the one that would be still in study hall and would be like, where did you guys go? Did you guys ditch me? And they're like, oh yeah, we're smoking. Yeah. Help. And, then, and then Riley would be like, guys, we shouldn't be going... Uh... Yeah, they have and Laura, and then Laura, the and then Laura, experience. and then Laura would look out the window, and she'd see those three like you know hiding behind the tree, and she'd be like, "Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> I should make an ARG." You should make an ARG. I, <laughs> I, that. I feel like if any of them were jocks, it would have been Riley. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the other guy, Peter. Peter might have been a jock. He might have been the, the stereotypical like jock who's not a jock yeah. sort of thing. Mm-hmm. The soft, yeah. the soft jock. <laughs> soft jock. We have David's, a... David's the stoner. Laura's the responsible one. Yeah, and the Mary Talbert image is very like iconic horror. You know, it really does ring. Okay. You know, with everything else, but we. With the... What is this? What is this thread? We so got this here? thread is an, uh, a later thread from after this episode launches. This is May twenty seventh. Been rifling around my old computer a little bit more. Managed to find a screenshot from the Paranormal Paranoids uploads. This is the original upload, according to her, and it's it's hard to believe that this is what uh what fucking YouTube used to look like. But That's, as you can see, I know, right? That's what YouTube would look like. We've got two more uh, videos, which will come later. The Suicide Shed and the Haunted Halls of Lincoln Elementary. Um, um, and then you have the Paranoid Vlog, which we watched, right? The yes. The Q&A with Riley. 
Q and A with Riley, and this view count is is really kind of high for early YouTube. Um, yeah, well, if this is like two thousand. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's higher. A, that's a good view count that's for a, a new amount. channel. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have fifty two ratings, four out of five. Very good. So like, they're building these guys up here, obviously, and 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 go on another ghost hunt. So this is not their first episode. So, you know, and this Paranormal is near paranoids. We get reinforced that this is near Cuyahoga Falls. Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga. So, um, um this doesn't really help me uh find out uh what happened to them, but somebody has to know something considering the number of views on the video. Also, I might the one who misses the old YouTube layout. I found uh a few other files in the folder. Uh they seem to be corrupted. You're gonna see what I can do because there's a file named Riley's Last Blog Post, and I feel it might have something good on it. And then Noir says, I remember that post, Riley's last Full blog stop. post. Full stop. <laughs> Full stop. That is that's it. Period. Um so it's interesting to go back, you know, we're talking about dead, you know, dead website formats too. And here's another dead yeah. website format. Um Yay. So I think, yeah, the next thing we get is this, which is Jess po reposts Noir's video footage. Um, which let me jump over. Uh, to Ooh. the YouTube page for it. Uh, this is. Wait, can you check SS? Wait. Thanks, right. YouTube. Very kind of you to. Trombone one of the videos something. is considerably longer than the one we have here. Yeah, we can check that uh, as well in a second. But I want to show you this quickly. Okay. Um, I don't want to see. I'm scared. The security camera footage. We don't know when this is from in the ARG. All we know is that this gets posted. And it's obvious that one of these guys is is, you know, Peter and, and David's here and Laura's here. But Riley is notably not here. Um, mm. This is taken out by Hell and Helltown, uh, which is also in Ohio. Uh, we Ohio has the worst name. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not really much else to glean out of this than Riley is not here, which is why I kind of pushing through it. quickly. Okay. Uh, and Noir just so go to this. So if you go to the screenshot again. Yes. So it is 870, 807 is the uh, the other thing, but the the one from from back then is is 949. Mm -hmm. So we're missing some footage, it looks like. Yes. And that might also be true for the suicide shed. I honestly do not remember. But if. Uh, yeah. OK. Uh, check that again. One of the videos is through longer than one we have. Oh, so trombone grab that there. Uh, there's like five missing minutes from our school episode compared to the original. So that's. You know, saying something. Mm-hmm. Um, but it also could point towards Noir trying to cover up something. Yes. Or if Jess found it, Jess not adding something. Yes. Um, so then we get Sir Spooks, uh, who is another content creator, boosting the series. And there's a bunch of other small stuff about looking into Shelby Oaks um, and stuff like that. Uh, but the next big thing is we just get another vlog from from uh, our friend Noir. Uh, okay. That's where she's drawn the creepy picture. Yes, this is the creepy picture vlog, so. Mm, Which, I don't want to see the picture again. Hi. <laughs> um, so, this is Those split uh, ends, girly. what I've been working on. <laughs> I don't know, it's, um, she's someone I keep having a dream about. And oh. I don't even know really why I'm sharing it, but I don't know. It was a weird dream. It was, um, I felt like trapped. Um, and I, I just haven't had a dream like that in a while, but I don't know. I think it, it helped putting her to paper. <laughs> hey, Mia. <laughs> oh, it's Mia again. I've been having a dream about this woman. And, and you can come see it. You can come closer. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? Mia's got the spoopy. Mia spoopy. Mia, it does have the spoopy. It's very weird. Um, it, it, it really is just kind of bizarre to see that 
interaction because clearly it's two pieces of video footage that have been spliced together by noir um mm -hmm. and there's a question of how one gets both of those pieces of video footage but I, I think more interesting is like the little bits and details that we're seeing reoccur right you get the photo the photo again you get the book again riley's talking about dreams again you know she can sense some with mia Mm -hmm. With Mia, she's weird. Um, Mia becomes relevant again. <laughs> Mia, she's weird. Mia, she's weird. Um, it definitely maybe maybe Noir is Mia. It's possible, you know, really, because I mean, I don't know how else Noir would have to know Mia closely enough or have contact with Mia closely enough to get that footage, and also to have specifically made that threat earlier. But Mia's also coming up with David and Peter. So, you know, what is Mia's role in all of this? And why is Mia taking weird footage of her sister doing her shit? It's an invasion of privacy. Maybe it... mm, yeah. I, I, well, and that brings it again to that interesting thing of, like, being videotaped without your knowledge, um, which is something that is kind of a fear I, especially during that time with with like camcorder technology like Ren we had the class um you know where there was this whole we had we took a class last semester that was about um video like I don't even know what the class was actually about but <laughs> um, yeah yeah Come but um yeah. but um there was we watched this like old school like 90s like 1990, 1991 video where people were talking about how like, oh my gosh, now that everyone has camcorders, everyone's filming people and like people were scared about that, right? And then when that gets to the internet, then people are like scared about people posting things about them and et cetera, et cetera. It's so it's interesting. We already have two examples here in this ARG where there's like people being filmed without them really knowing it. Yeah. There's um, a, and, 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 in, and in this case, it's both like Riley media or lost media yeah. that becomes nostalgic in some ways, you know, it, yeah. it's, it's a modern so, concern it, in a, like a pre-modern pre nineties pre package. It feels like almost even though there's just 2000. Yeah. It's, it has like kind of a '90s vibe to it, well, to me. Well, even then, like the video does. Yeah, <clears throat> or like just like, uh, like turning the camera on yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been doing vlogging things, but Mia coming in and being like, <sighs> it seems very much like she wanted to do that. Like it wasn't just like a hey, I'm filming a small little vlog of me walking around my house. My sister's just, you know drawing something and i'm just gonna see what she's doing it's kind of seems like it's um awareness of like oh i know she's doing something weird because i can hear her vlogging to herself let me grab a video recorder and record her so there's some sort of dynamic going on there where they record each other yeah where it's, well, or it's maybe she was put up to it record like putting putting her up to recording mm -hmm. i don't know maybe maybe david the creep was like hey if if you record your sister, I'll give you 200 bucks or something. And like, also, I mean, there's the earlier part where, where Noir says, hey, Mia would know about this. And mm -hmm. then this happens. And so there becomes this quick question of what Mia, is Mia connected to Noir? Is Mia... Like, it's is Robert weird. Noir? Who's this Robert, Robert Noir? Yeah. Is Robert Noir? Uh, I'm I'm gonna to spoil a little bit. Robert does not come back as of yet. So Robert is just oh. mentioned and gone, and that's also bizarre oh. in this because like so much is put onto Robert in that first in that video, and then yeah. poof, no more Robert. Oh well, yeah, but I, I I shouldn't say this, because, but like you know, in mysteries there are dead ends everywhere. Yes, of right, and, and 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 red herrings and communism red herrings. Right, and, communism and, was the red herring. <laughs> the the Fuck. every man every man a uh, fisher uh, <laughs> you know um, the, the it's a hammer wait, every, on a fishing rod yeah <laughs> um <laughs> in in disco elysium it's every man uh every man a member ah. as in like every man a member of the board mm -hmm. um so every man a fisher um uh yeah it's i know it's got it's got this lots of interesting relationships uh, to like, technology, I think I feel like ARGs um, are part of how a, a large swath of people are like 
negotiating their relationship with technology, yeah. which I just think is fascinating, um, which obviously Ren is partly probably why you're so interested in them. Um, well, it's because I was negotiating my own relationship with technology at the time I got involved with them, you know, about digital communities and my place and, and how, how the Internet can convince you to do stupid shit. Uh, mainly, <laughs> I mean, without getting too personal I just want, on stream. I want less scary things on the internet. Less things that scare there me. There are non-horror ARGs. There are kittens. They exist. I was going to say, I want, I want... Give me a... a clues ARGs. Let's go, let's let's throw a retro. If they want to throw a retro, let's do a lol cat red versus blue ARG. And we'll just watch oh, old God. red versus blue Halo 1 and 2 and just look at lol cats. See, that There's I could get. I can ARG. has cheeseburgers. Let me get, I was going to say, I can has cheese Or the, the, ham, the hamster song uh, ARG. You know. <laughs> SNES says in chat, uh, Blue's Clues ARG would get real sinister real quick. Who killed Blue? <laughs> No, <laughs> but like it was magenta. Magenta's new. <laughs> say, and what happened to to the first Steve? <laughs> what he happened? Got to fired. Steve? <laughs> no, that's too easy an explanation. We must conspiracy everything about it. But there are non horror ARGs. They just I haven't yeah. been playing them. Like I would argue that the that the one that's being made by Alex, Alex Bale's ARGs are rarely they have horror concepts in them, but they're more uh, comedy than anything. Um, Is it kind of like a? Um... Like I feel like ARGs, oh, there's always has to be something mysterious. Well, because if if they're exploring our understanding of technology, technologies, because it's so rapidly changing, and it's ARGs are coming up in an era of rapidly changing technology, it's always going to have some sort of mystery hook to it, or not mystery, but just kind of like ethereal don't know what's going to happen in the future a futuristic site like oh is this an ai doing weird things or is this an algorithm like mm -hmm. uh, challenging those kind of concepts in technology you're always going to get that kind of it's never going to have never going to be like rainbows and sunshine there's always going to be a slight pervasive turn of well this is what technology can do. Yeah. Thing. And I think like, because like, I mean, what the, the cornerstone of writing an ARG is to go, here's our world, but you know, and but. whenever you have that, yeah. like I have to write a world that is not ours because of this critical detail that invokes mystery, invokes horror, invokes these kinds of things mm -hmm. that, or, or, or sometimes absurdity. The fear um, of the unknown. I yeah. was going to say like, I, th I wonder a big part of this, Right, like it's a different approach to mystery than like an Agatha Christie style of novel, right? Where like yeah. we know at the end that it's a human force that did it, right? And the the goal is to figure out the human that did the thing. And so it's it's interesting how a lot of ARGs are focused on how the human did not do the thing, <laughs> right? Uh, that the culprit uh, in the end is something outside of human control or or uh, okay. human knowledge. Um, and Which seems to be a very popular horror trope throughout history, but I think in particularly this moment as well. To really check out Stockroach it is far, so far below attention it deserves. It is also a comedy centric ARG. Well, hopefully in the long term we can check out a lot of ARGs on this show. That's just I just want an ARG that doesn't scare me. I mean, they you just want an ARG and... that's just the hate the He Man. Hey, yeah, yeah, me <laughs> just for ten hours. <laughs> That's just, that's the ARG that you want. Please give me He Man the ARG. Hey, yay, 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 yay. All right. Anyway, um, this speaking of ARG, let's go back to this ARG. Yeah, no kidding. Um, oh, so I'm gonna be some scared again. Conversation about whether <laughs> the paranoids use fake names. Uh, her saying, "Oh, I'm gonna try and fix some more of these these CDs," and that really takes with us up to toothpaste. Yeah, with the toothpaste, and then. Her talking about how many DMs she's getting, which is great. I mean, there were a lot of eyes coming in, so that's more reflexive than anything. Um, and then we get the su a couple more episodes. We get the Suicide Shed episode, and I believe the prison episode drops on the same day. I think maybe all of them do. So obviously there's a lot here to digest, but let's go pull up those videos and kind of go through them um, as much and as that, we can go um, through today. So I was going to say, I kind of will need to head out soon. Yes. Because I got to get going to bed. Um, we might. So we'll, it might be a good idea then to watch the well, the prison episode 16 minutes long. It might be a good idea to do the prison episode and then stop there for the night. And then we can pick this back up when we have time to do it. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Because that that that's probably the best endpoint. Is just let's do the prison has episode been, and move on. Has there been any updates, things going on? I don't believe that we have. Uh, I mean, chat can tell me otherwise because I can't exactly update my stuff as quickly as I would like to. But I do not believe that there has been a new post today, uh, despite all signs pointing to some kind of new update today. We know that Jess said, "Hey." I'm in Ohio filming this Thursday. And we had assumed that that would meant a content drop was going to happen. Um, but maybe, maybe she's holding out because something spoopy happened. So she's leaving us. You alone. know, what? maybe maybe Jess is watching us. She's trying to figure out if we can solve if we solve the mystery. Yeah, I mean, nope. it's yeah, yeah, that's my intention as well. If, if she's not updating today, then it seems like maybe something went wrong or maybe it, everything was signaling let's do this which is why we were like okay we're gonna you know try to hit this mark and get this stuff out but well i mean it, in ohio they still got a couple hours uh they it's only 10 16 there that's true that's true like we should we could get a midnight uh, update my brain my brain was like eastern i was like yes ohio's in eastern <laughs> the last time she uploaded was around 9 45 hour time so yeah we are still in front of the clock on this so let's do the prison episode will end there, and then we will find another time in the next week to come back and do the the latter half of this, if that's okay. Mm. It's not that bad. Maybe she, I think she was just traveling to Ohio today, so maybe we need to give her a day or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it could yeah, be. Yeah. Could Did be. we break it? That's a great username. Uh, I applaud. Could we break it? We could break it today. <laughs> yeah, so we get more of these lovely people and their dumb intro. Also, this is left. too long for old YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, this one, 16 minutes, yeah. That's the real ghost in the machine. <laughs> How did they manage that? If, unless I, unless they, it's like uploaded, it could be uploaded like right after that or something, but. <laughs> but like, you get so many of, of like YouTube videos broken up into 15 minutes. Maybe this has been recompiled. I mean, who knows really? Oh, it could be recompiled or. Ooh. I'll suspend my disbelief Lots of old for that. spooky stuff. All right. It's interesting how you kind of take the same iconography and, it, you know, if you add f funny music to it, you know, um, and have the same background repeating over and over in Scooby-Doo, and then you make it, like, scary like this. It's just interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got ledge hauntings, murders, riots, walls, all have happened here. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, spooky. So you can tell that this is definitely like a, they're more cautious going in. They're not just running around some woods. Mm -hmm. And this was, this was a kind of another tip off that maybe something bigger was going on here because this is, uh, I think Ohio state reformatory, you know, Chad can correct me if I'm wrong, but like they would have to have, you know, it's, it's a fairly established place. It's likely they, they, you know, got permission to shoot in here professionally. Yeah. I mean, they would have to, if they were, you know, because like those, all those ghost hunter shows. Man's you know, they get all those Thank you guys for, for, uh, but they, they refer to it as a TPA. <laughs> Look, I can't always get everything right. I promise. Um, well, you, get, you got the reformatory. That's not reformatory. usually something that you, you say for, you, you got the word. <laughs> got the word. Yeah. I did. I don't know if I've mentioned this, and maybe that wasn't the time. But uh, for the Ludic Society, I will be starting a Twitter account where we just post corrections. Because <laughs> I'm gonna Correct. fuck so many. Sorry, right, we up. got it wrong. Yeah. The pin tweet just goes on for miles. <laughs> Correction. 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 If Seth Meyers can do thing. it. They're looking around. I like their puffy coats. Very 2008. <laughs> yep. Puffy coats have not gone out of fashion, I feel like. Uh, Depends who you ask. More like nice wool petticoats. A lot of people like. Hmm. Uh, there was a sign up at VCU that just said, it's bubble coat weather whenever it was cold, so. Oh, that's kind of cute. Is that what they call puffy coats? Bubble guess coats? Guess so. I guess so. Oh, wow. 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 Some colloquial terms we're getting here. Oh, it goes by both names. Okay. Eastern State is MPA, um, but man, it goes by Mansfield Reformatory or Ohio State Reformatory. Okay. The sins of the father. Leave. Hold on. Did I miss something there? Or 
Did we, I think this might be the only look we get oh. at the uh, at the board here, and it's worth like kind of stopping and pointing out that Mia is written on it very clearly in the center. Mm -hmm. Well, that could be it could be Mia or it could be MIA, but looking at these ones like A C J D K and K, like it looks like it's people being like we are here, like graffitiing, mm -hmm. like people who have come through. So maybe Mia no. there, or it could be. Or like there's jazz. I didn't even think about that, but you're totally Duel. right. These yeah, are probably Jules people's the initials. Name. Yeah. Well, it could, well, it could, could, it, could it, also be yeah. Mia because Jules is down there. Yeah. What if Riley started getting interested in this because something with Mia happened? <gasps> hmm. That? That's possible. I recognized it no. from Ghost Adventures. No. Clap. Yes. <laughs> Next week, you guys come back and we're just watching Ghost Adventures episodes. <laughs> Which one is the one where it has the guy who has very bad delivery? Like, welcome. Oh, there's so many bad line readings from that. It's just... <laughs> they come from here, holy... I like that YouTube auto-caption blocks out swear words. Classy. It's a very spooky location. It's a really good shooting space. I this is really cool, honestly, just seeing the inside of it in general. But I'm just thinking about all the white lead paint that's on the walls right now. Watch your step. I'm so glad gimbals are a thing now, so you don't get all the shaking. Mm -hmm. A receptionist desk with a bunch of papers? Books. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had gone to the reformatory and checked in to see what those papers were, and some of them are like torn out of a psychology textbook. Mm. So, set dressing. <laughs> Bed dressing, yes, indeed. Is that the same textbook that was on her bed? <gasps> Information. I don't know. <laughs> Not. <laughs> what is the philosophy of hedonism? Hedonism is an example of the mechanist philosophy. This that definitely looks like set dressing. Oh, shoot. Who is calling? I'm in the oh. middle of filming, guys. Don't do this. There we go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. that. It was hard sell trolling. I think it was Amberly. Did you just get spooked by a blanket cat? He did. He totally did. <laughs> it's, this is scary. Oh, wait. There's more things. Candy, you know. That's a brand new one. That was my bad, my bad, my bad. Are they gonna open something? Are they gonna open or get locked? In some place. I love the way that the paint chips off the walls over time in these places. It really always looks like something like there was like a, a fire thing. Oh, that reminds me of, of a story of my undergrad that I can tell. This is Riley's thinking room. Where she thinks. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's, like, that's my whole level up. <laughs> Definitely, she is the girl of the group. <laughs> can point that. Are you going to try? Yeah. Okay. Mm, no. <laughs> The answer is 
just want to know about this building. Like, what was it? What's its history? Oh, you, you can do tours there, apparently. Like, they'll take people through. So, like, if you wanted to go see it, like, it is totally there for you to just check out. Ooh. Oh, really? That's really cool, squirrel noises. I think I know what parts of Air Force One you're talking about. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's kind of like the Hollywood Cemetery of locations here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Richmond's Hollywood Cemetery. Uh-uh. -uh. It's, uh, there are like three presidents buried there. Um, well, two presidents and the presidents of the Confederacy. Um, but it's it's a popular filming location in Richmond. So we're about to enter solitary. This was the original solitary confinement. For a while in the 1930s, they just threw in cots here. Um, and basically let the inmates have the run of this room over here. And then later it was used as overflow. Someone's gonna close the door. Yeah, this is some big ass steel doors too. Oh well, yeah, it's solitary. And the inmates that were brought here in the 1930s, they were maximum security, meaning they were the most violent offenders. According to one of the guards in the building, apparently, the goats in this area really like Johnny Cash. You know, it's a funny little, obviously it's there to be kind of a, a doofy little detail that a group of amateur ghost hunters would share, but it also might be like a real story from the people at the reformatory. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, like I, that's just one of those things I could see people who like live there. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, trombone. Or trombone or trombone. Like trombone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've done it. End me. My career is over. What? So they just. There are people in here with these generators and vents? I guess this is the original solitary confinement, so there's been renovations, there were, but um, like. There were several escape attempts in the prison. One of which caused the death of one of the guards, a ghost named Frank. That was in the, the other area where they did solitary confinement. Bop, bop. It is also kind of funny, the place they shot uh, Shawshank Redemption, Riley feels it necessary to say there was a bunch of uh, escape attempts. Got the Iron Cross in here? Yeah. Weird. See, the problem with, like, I was like, I don't know how much the, the location they were, they set dressed. Like, obviously the papers were set dressed. And then some of it is just, what's on the wall? So you get, like, the, okay, so what is... Part of ARG, what is part of location? Yeah, that bleeding between the altered world and the uh, actual world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm inclined to think that the Iron Cross is not a part of the ARG, but that's just because it hasn't popped up anywhere else. That's true. This is true. Um, but it could they could surprise us. I I would be kind of hesitant to Maybe. use that iconography myself. Yeah, maybe Mia is just a really big believer in the Weimar Republic. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe. Oh, boy. I skirted that issue by 20 years. <laughs> I was like, hey, it's... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Urbexer's last words. I got a what? You got a line on it that you stabbed him. Some kind of line. What the fuck is that? Oh, breaker box. Coming through the roof. Yeah. 
This looks like something that you bring with it. Alright, y'all ready? I'm ready. Alright, Laura. Where do you want to go? Did you do that? Hey, wait, did you do that? Yes, you did. I didn't touch anything. I told you she was on the table. Nothing to see here, folks. Oops. He really likes to look at toilets, this guy. I know that's pretty much the only thing that's there, but... <laughs> yeah, you can see how uneasy Riley feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Laura, too. My girl. Laura. No, Laura's fantastic. I just wish that Laura got more screen time, but maybe that's coming soon. She's she's gonna be the main part of the movie. What's she looking at? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure why. Mm. Oh, oh fuck. I heard one. What? I love that effect they did for Riley's breath. Looks really good. Really nice, really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far back does that go? It's interesting that they keep going through the facility after whatever the fuck happens there, you know? Like, clearly, that's yeah. like a traumatizing experience. And then, for whatever reason, they're continuing to go through the facility. So this is yeah, we definitely saw the breath. The other section of solitary confinement. This is where the majority of the deaths suicides occurred in the prison. There was also an instance uh, in the 1970s of one inmate self-immolating, setting himself on fire as a form of suicide. For a lot of the suicides, we don't actually know where those occurred for the most part. Sorry guys, my bad, my bad. <gasps> oh, that was you? Yeah, yeah. he stepped on a thing. Stop I'm working a camera here, guys. We're working a camera here by intensely focusing on Riley. Can you see anything? Yeah. You know, I've heard people in the community talk about how weird it is that David's yeah. always filming Riley, but like, I think this watch through has really cemented that for me. Uh, fresh. Oh, it's another, okay. Yeah. Hey, David, you hungry? Okay. You sure? Did, uh, yeah. did, did you just pick up a clementine so in the middle of prison? <laughs> 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 Let me borrow a sock. Tangerine still bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like why? I'm not sure I feel about the return to these three shots. Like it bookends the piece, and it's a really bizarre kind of ending. Um, so. Grammarly helps make your writing God, clear and thank you, Grammarly. Thanks, Grammarly. Really appreciate that. What are the Walton files? That oh, that's crazy. a whole nother fucking. <laughs> that's another ball game that we can get into at some point if you'd like. But David will shit himself. Okay. Those, yeah, that I don't want to look up. at scary things. That you got one the prisoner. Is fucked so they, up. So they found Goose. And it kind of, I think that kind of showed like her ability or or something. The beginnings of it. I mean, she also does that Beginning? in the previous piece. She like says, oh, David, film over here. And then suddenly there's something on camera over there. It's very, mm -hmm. it, it seems like we're supposed to believe that she legitimately has some sort of sixth sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I also think um, when she was talking about the spooky man, the spooky gal that she drew, the spooky picture, and she was like, I, when I get a dream about this person, I feel trapped. 
And so... So it kind of connects it to, like, oh, you trapped reformatory prison ghost and having this kind of, like, somewhat in more intense, like, feeling of it. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe the ghost, the ghost that is haunting her in the spoopy picture is from the reformatory. Maybe. I mean, who knows? And you make a good point about the trapped in the jail stuff. I think we should pick this up next time, though. Because David needs to yes. head out, and we can kind of recap the prison episode then. So, you know, and I'm gonna be honest. I like didn't. I didn't watch most of it just because I can't handle. So, um, there was a lot of toilet shots. Um, Peter picked up a tangerine in a reformatory or Clementine for some reason. A lot of toilet shots. Not a lot and happens. There was like, there was also a lot of. There was a spot where she's talking about things, and then she stops. She goes, "Oh, do you feel that?" And then the camera goes like, and then it like glitches out and then it didn't record for a few minutes and yeah. that was like the most important part of it i think i just want to gotcha. say thank you for vehemence and people from vehemence from uh, for watching all this you know Tron uh Tron boomer and i'm not gonna fuck that one up again uh uh muggle mad um who else was was super involved uh squirrel noises and mediocre all Very of you guys nice. great fantastic Can break it and um thank squirrel you guys noises. David and Morgan for jumping in on and helping me out with this. Cause like, I could not have done this on my own. Yeah. We this should... was fun. Even though I, I get spooked very easily. It, it was fun. <laughs> it adds to, to the, the, the je ne sais quoi, you know, we'll, add, we'll do a non spooky one next time. Well, after we're done with this. Anyway. Um, um, I'll catch you guys so... and the viewers next time. Thank you very, Are we doing very, this, very much. Like we should pick this up like next week maybe yeah i think so like do it on a wednesday or something if we can find time for it yeah absolutely i think so tweet tweet cool. all right Bye. see ya everybody bye, all right bye. bye bye everyone we stream here Thank by the way you. other things if you like video game content and people talking critically about stuff all across the week yay yeah. and me acting a fool yeah all right <laughs>